Everyone, tickets are now available on pre-sale everywhere for my new tour, Come Together, with the code word TOMMY. Get your tickets at TomSegura.com slash tour. This week on your mom's house. Victoria's Secret plans to bring sexy back. We're yeah. done. We're done with fat models. And guess what it's... Um, Thank you so much. It's not a bit. Oh, I thought it was like that slow girl on Instagram that's <laughs> interviewing everybody. <laughs> Guys, I have a question for you. What? Is he touched? With what? Bees? Well, welcome. Welcome to your mom's house. <laughs> All right. Look, it's the holidays. Why don't you give yourself the gift of the best GD night of sleep you've ever had? Buy yourself a Satva mattress. S-A-A-T-V-A -A -A is the name of the company. I've slept on their luxury firm. I sleep on the uh, the Lumen Leaf and now the Solaire. Every single one of these mattresses is life-changing. Why? Well, first of all, you can get a king size, a huge size mattress for a fraction of the cost uh, that you would get at other places because they've knocked out the middleman. And Satva is a great uh, company. Their customer service is unparalleled. Not only that, everything is made in the U.S. of A, high quality. And if you, you try it for 90 days, you don't like it, send it back. They can take away your old mattress for a nominal fee. Uh, setup is easy. Customer service is just wonderful. They even have sheets now that are just outstanding. So go to sattva.com slash the shit for $200 off your next purchase. Welcome oh to another gosh. episode of your mom's house. Jeans. Very excited to be here. Look at you. You're running behind. I'm running late. You know, I'm on antibiotics. I have a sinus infection. I know. You know why? Because mm. I'm a fucking idiot. And I had a mild cold. And then I drank vodka one night. And what did it, you do that for? I was just so bored of being sick. Do you yeah. ever get so bored of having yeah. a cold? That by day four, five, six, seven, you're like, fuck it, I'm just going to drink. Sometimes I've, I've been bored. Such an um, idiot. I've been so bored of having a stomach issue that I'll be like, <laughs> fuck it, I'll just eat a burger and fries. Yeah, fuck it. And then just <laughs> diarrhea so much, feel so sick. But I was like, yeah, but I was tired of not eating like that. <laughs> right. Like you just get tired of healing and you're like, fuck yeah. it, I just want to do what I want to do. Fuck this. Yeah. I don't care if my toe's broken. I'm running today. That's what I'm yeah. saying, dude. Yep. But I mean, Annie and I have always said that that's the best way is to build resilience and ignore your body. Ignore the signs. That's what always they say. Always ignore they your say body. That, yeah. Doesn't yeah. Huberman, I think you and Huberman did a podcast about that. He right? always says, I think his main thing is if your body is telling you something, don't listen. Ignore. That's what he says. Yeah. Don't listen to dumb bitch. That's from a Stanford professor. I mean, what are you going to do, man? <laughs> Yeah. Don't listen to your dumb don't body. Don't listen to your what stupid body. Your body. It doesn't know anything. I know. But yeah. Shit. Yeah. You think Fuck you're off. tired? Stay up. That's what, yeah. he, that's what he says. <laughs> don't sleep. I've fucking, I've, I've completely now morphed into <laughs> like, I need full clearance for 48 hours after huh. in order to agree to a late night. Oh, forget about if it. If I don't have clearance the next day, like nothing on this, then I'm like, I have forget to leave. It. Yeah. Can't do it. Did you drink too? Uh, Did you no. get wasted? Did no. you get fucking lit? No, no. I just, I just can't. I just start thinking about sleep, just how much sleep affects me. So we're going to have dinner tomorrow night with a friend who's in town. Yeah. And you're like, you're like, I made six o'clock reservation. I saw how happy you got. P perfect. Yeah. Now I'm in bed by nine. I just nine. told him and he was like, uh, okay. <laughs> <He's younger. laughs> yeah. 6 p.m. dinner. Yep. Well, he's in his 30s. We're yeah. in our 80s. It's different. It's totally different. Well, yeah. I don't want, because I, I don't want, to, first of all, I don't like eating late. Yeah. I, I stop eating by six o'clock. I really. like it too. Because really then I like, like to go to bed on an empty stomach, and that's how I stay so beautiful and thin. Now, yeah. if I'm eating late at night, don't laugh at that. I am thin. Don't, if I eat, 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 eat late at night, then all night I'm just sleeping on the whatever fat shit I ate. I know. I don't like it. No. It's better the foreigner because we had a foreigner visiting. I had a oh foreign cousin God. visiting, and all those little things come up um, about even about eating, right? Because he's like, "Oh my God!" He sat down last night for dinner. He's like, "It's so much food, it's so much food," <laughs> and I go, "What?" He's like, "You eat so much for dinner, so much." And I was food. like, "Oh yeah, that's they really do have a better system." Foreigner, uh, when whenever a foreign cousin visits, yeah, yours is from Peru, mine are always from Hungary. Yeah. You realize, like, a how fat we all are. We're all as much Americans. fatter. They have this. Their system there is like breakfast is pretty much like it's kind of close to American in a way. Like they'll have fruit, eggs, you know, like, but not to their level. 
the de- the decadent huge meal there is lunch. Should be. And that does make sense. Should be. You have if you had like a reasonable breakfast, then you work up to, you know, you're you're busy, then it's like lunch, okay. Party at lunch. It's That's like what I do. Multiple courses. Yeah. And their, di- their dinner is like sensible and small. Makes which sense. Which is good because you end the day, right? Yeah. You're burning off the calories. If you want to, like for instance, this morning I had a pop tart. Yeah. Because I wanted it. And by the way, I had a Pajitsky effect with the, the tart. We were, I was with our son. Yeah. And I was like, Ellis, you want to split a pop tart with me? He's like, yeah, but you have to heat it up. It's only good when you heat it up, mom. Don't yeah. eat it cold. And I was like. <sighs> yeah. You didn't know that people heat up pop tarts. I know that they do, but again, in my hurry, much yeah. like why I don't like drying yeah. myself off, I don't like to wait for the pop tart to be done. But he was right. I put it in my mouth, and I was like, "Oh my god, it's so nice and warm inside, and the jelly tastes so much better." Yeah, it blew my mind. Anyway, foreign cousins. The best part is that your cousin, like, it's like watching a space alien come over when yeah. foreigners are with you. Yeah. Because he was really hooked on peach cobbler. He was like, what is this? How first, you he, had, he had pecan first. He was oh. Like, he was like, what is this? I was like, pecan cobbler? <laughs> pecan what? And I was like, cobbler? Cobbler. What's that? Yeah. And I was like, I cobbler? Don't eat it. And then he was like, this is one of the best things I've ever had in my life. And I was like, yeah, pretty good. <laughs> yeah. It's so Southern. And I, I love it because you're like, you've never had a fucking peach with some sugar on it, dipshit. Yeah. Were you from Mars or in Peru? Jesus Christ. But my Hungarian relatives are the same way. The, yeah. Everything's off with your your foreign cousin. It's like they wear the wrong kind of denim. It's always way too tight or and the wrong color. Yeah. It's too light and it's too tight. Yeah, their clothes is always whack. We um, we and ran. Their in, shoes are fucked. We up. ran. Their shoes are goofy. It's always like puma. <laughs> they're like really, weird pumas that you can't we buy. We ran in into uh, uh, their friends, his friends. Uh oh. And it was like four dudes, and they all had on these crazy patterned collared, you know, button down shirts with like wild patterns on them. <laughs> and I was about to bust their balls. Like I just uh, met them. I was about to be like, "Would you guys go fucking yeah. get the same stupid shirt together?" Yeah. And as like as I was about to see it. I was talking to, I was like just looking at them and I was like, oh, they're not, this isn't funny to them. Like they're. Yeah, no, this is their gear. This is their gear. And so that's when I was like, all right. Okay. Yeah. Like I'm trying to put my finger on it. Like what is it about my Hungarian family? They always, it's like too fashionable, right? Like it's too high fashion. They go for it. They like, they're like, the, the, fa- the clothes has to make a statement. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's like collar up or like a weird collar. Yeah. They love, they love brands. They love brands. The Gucci is the best. Versace, Polo, Gucci, very, very nice. Very nice stuff. Yeah. yeah. Very good Prada. Nice <laughs> Italian stuff. Yes. Good. Make a bigger sign, let's say, so people know. They love that yeah, shit. They love dude. that shit. One of my friends, my, I, my, you met my friends when you were visiting Hungary and Budapest this last time. Yeah. This, this, I've grown up with them. Um, Pani and Tamash. And one time they were like, they were like, you have black people in America, yes? And I was like, yeah. yeah. And they're like so curious about black Americans because mm-hmm. they get the pop culture over right. there, like rap music. We like, like the music. Yeah, and they're like, Is, are they all angry and gangsters too? And you're yes. like, no. Yes. Yes. They all <laughs> rap. They don't, they, even, rap. they don't even talk to you. They all rap at you. Yeah. <laughs> But it was so genuine because they get like African black people. Like, yes, yeah, yeah. From like different culture. Africa. So di- yeah, that's true. So they're like, well, what? they're so angry. I'm like, yeah. I, don't, I don't know, dude. Yeah. They're seeing like rap videos and being yeah. like, that's so scary. <laughs> they're so loud. Yeah. <laughs> but they love it. They, yeah, of course. they simultaneously love our music. We and are very into a Wu Tang here. <laughs> and you're like, yes, that's what us too. Okay. Yes. And like, I always remember foreign visitors. They always smell weird too. Yeah. Like, they bring the smell in their suitcase. Yeah. They open the suitcase. And you're like, what is that? Like, That's another country in there. It smells like another country. <laughs> Speaking of smell, smells, the dudes Legit. love cologne. cologne. Love cologne. I realize countries. that America has a different relationship with cologne. It's not the same. The, and here's the thing. Yeah. I'll, I'll say this. They are right. The foreigner. Because what is cologne at its core? It's just a thing that makes you, it just yeah. smells better. Yeah. No, one, no one's against smelling better. The reason that I think Americans end up going like, I don't want cologne is because of people's excess of it. So it's, in other words, too much. if you're overwhelmed by it, then you're like, I don't want anything to do with that. Yeah. But if it's put on in the right amount, that's very pleasant, right? Like it's yes. a pleasant thing to smell better. No one's against yeah. smelling better. It's just someone overdoes it. And then you go, I don't want anything They're to do with that. They're all done. Because there's dudes who just dump a bottle. I know. See, see, 
Yeah. Now here's the deal, man, is that the old Hungarian dudes I grew up around, yeah. they would put too much of on. Of course. And then you have to go give a kiss to Bachi Neni or whatever. Yeah. And then he's greasy. And also the skin was always really greasy yeah. on these hungos. I don't know what. Well, I'll say like this. aftershave. And then the smell sticks to your face all these, day. And you're like, These Dude. foreigners, you guys are giving cologne a bad name. <laughs> you're ruining it for people. It's not bad stuff. It's not bad stuff. But you know what I really hate too? Mm. Is when like Uber drivers or yeah. just drivers will try to mask the fact that they just smoked a cigarette in their oh, car. Oh, with cologne, yeah. And you're like, bro, no, you're not yeah. fooling anybody. Now I did this. smoky cologne. I know yeah, what this bro, is. Yeah, bro, I did this in fucking eighth grade. Yeah. This is this doesn't fool anybody. Yeah. Your car smells like shit. It's fine. I'd, I'd prefer the smell of an ashtray than, than your cologne shitty cologne. Over the ashtray. Well, the other thing is shitty cologne. Yeah. There's good stuff, like anything, and then there's the shitty stuff. Yeah. And the shitty stuff has this more... It hits you hard. Like, Oof, it's so strong. Oh my God, there's this great bitches scene. Bitches like this shit. In the <laughs> yeah. yeah. There's this great scene in the Halston show uh -huh. on Netflix and he, where he's developing his fragrance, his mm -hmm. scent. And he's like, I'm really into mixing fragrances right now. <laughs> That's hold on. That's a yeah. different discussion. Yeah. But so listen to me. Yeah. Are you listening? I'm listening to it. Yes. So he, he brings this to the fragrance lady. He goes, uh, here's some leather and she smells it. She goes, yes, leather. Good. And then he goes, this is my boyfriend's sweaty jock strap. And then she takes it and she <sighs> deeply inhales. And she's like, no, no, I get it. You know, like he's like, this is the smell of sex. And then and you're like, what well, kind of is, yeah. isn't that crazy? Is that how they really make fragrances? Yeah. You got me. I'm not an expert. But to your point, yeah. mixing the scents. Mixing scents. Well, here's somebody who loves some scents. <laughs> let's start, let's like open the show. Let's open the show with some fresh scents. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boy. Remember, it's no bra day. Yep. Get out there and have fun and let the girls breathe. Okay, Who thanks. cares if they can see your nipples? Yeah. So what? So what? You give them a birthday present before their birthday. They'll enjoy it. Looking good. Who is Randy? Taking care of himself. Jesus. Feel it. The king is back. Well, and you know what he does is he mm. listens to us in terms of like when your body's telling you something, yeah. ignore it. No you one's know, in your he body. He needs that apparatus that holds your eyelids open. I mean, his eyes Clockwork are orange. almost, they're swollen shut. Swollen from sodium or an alcohol. It looks like somebody has not listened to themselves and put their feet on the ground and take <laughs> off running like he says to do. No, he hasn't taken <laughs> off running since he was 12 years old. Take your feet off, put your feet on the ground. <laughs> take off running. Take off running. Yeah, that's Jesus. sodium and, and booze, right? Christ. What Who is cares that? if they can see your nipples? Yeah, yeah, see, that's see. here's the thing. Men don't understand. The reason I don't go braless isn't because of my nipples. Yeah. It's that it's pounds of fat that hang from your chest. Sure. And if they're willy nilly swirling around, moving around, it's uncomfortable. Right. He's, he's not taking into account that there could be back pain involved. Well, no, not just that. Just like they're jiggling and they're yeah, a they're, mess. They're want, everywhere. You want to feel yeah. tight. And, yeah. It's sure. like fat rolls, two fat rolls hanging from your chest. Yeah. You know, you don't, you want it supported. It's fine if they're little itty bitty nipples though. That's different. You have them hungry those. tits, cute yeah. little titties. Yeah, you see those tits? out all the time. Those girls go. They can do whatever they want. Yeah. No, that that's a different ball game. Yeah. Little hungry tits. Tiny tits. Well, I don't have no hungry tits. I got big old sloppy mom, mom yeah. flapjacks. Well, that's great. Yeah. Well, the king's got more to say. Nope. Got a new pool in the yard. <laughs> got a new pool in the yard. Maybe I'll get some videos of it and put it wow. on TikTok. Okay. You guys are more than welcome to come over and have oh. fun. A big old pool party. Put some steak on the grill. Relax. You don't have need fun. steak. He Maybe at steak. night, shut all the lights out and go skinny dipping. Oh. All the queens can have fun and play volleyball. You guys have a wonderful day and I will talk to you soon. 
Wait, how Love big is, is his pool? I thought he meant just like an above ground. Yeah, it is. Like a tiny. Well, it's not like for kids. It's an adult pool. Oh, okay. But he's, he actually really is about a good time, right? He's oh, just yeah. like, come over. You, I'll throw some steaks on the grill. Maybe at night, there'll be a little skinny dip and volleyball game going on. I don't have to be involved. I'm just going to, I want you to have fun. Yeah. He's yeah. a good host. Are you going to go over? I would, I would love to go over. Yeah, I would love. I would love to. I would love for you know the you to best go would be <laughs> to, to surprise. Like I was just thinking that to surprise him though, yeah. but with like bring legit bikini models, and he's yeah. like, "What the fuck?" We're like, "Oh, we just all heard the invite." Yeah, he'd have and a heart attack and die. These fifteen bikini models are here, and they heard that they can swim in your pool, and that it's no bra. Yeah, October or November. And just have him be like, "Yeah." <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, he can handle it. Oh yeah, God. what would he actually do if he got the action that he wanted? Just nut and know. die. <laughs> <laughs> I think. I don't know. It is cool. It is cool. He's sharing his fantasy. I'll tell you what's actually very cool. Mm. This is the first time we're actually going to uh, give a little details out here before we uh, oh. take a break. Um, okay. It is official. Okay. We have been working on something. Uh, we've talked about it a little bit. And now we can tell you a little bit more. We are going to be having our first special comedy event or a ticketed event. We've done a bunch of YMH lives before. We've done Two Bears Live. Those have been really fun. We did something. We've been working on something different that's going to come out uh, December 15th. The pre-sale will start in a few weeks. And it's our first time doing this. It's going to be a special event. And it's called... 69 minutes. Um, yeah, we're, everybody's working very hard on it. It's a great title. We're all working very hard on it. And um, <laughs> the idea is, of course, you are familiar with the news magazine show from CBS 60 Minutes, which has been airing hmm. for many, many years. We have decided to do our own version where we will tackle real issues, important <laughs> issues. Some of them are YMH issues. Some of them are, are, are broader, just world issues. And we decided to attack it with uh, some of our most famous and, and fun people that That's we know. Right, Tom. Um, this special event, 69 Minutes, will include appearances by Charo, uh, Mateo Lane, uh, Stavros, Sickler, Joe List, Are You Garbage? They're all participating mm -hmm. in this. Um, we put a lot into the production. Um, I'm tackling really important issues to myself, uh, like washcloths mm. and who Finally. uses them. America will have closure. We'll finally get an answer. And then I am even taking a very special trip to New York City in the hopes of reconnecting <gasps> with one Robert Paul Champagne. And so wow. that has been uh, our focus. Christina's doing other wow. pieces. There's a whole bunch of us are involved. Brian Simpson's doing stuff with us. Danny Brown. It's, it's everyone's involved. So we're very excited about it. I just want you to know we've been working on this thing for months and it will debut in December and we're all very excited. It's finally, it's so nice to do stories that Americans actually care about. Yeah. 60 Minutes is like, oh, the fucking spies are out. Like, whatever. Who cares? We, this Wars. is the real shit. Yeah. yeah. This is real stuff. This is absolutely what people care about. Yeah. Speaking of, may I please f make an announcement? I, I couldn't be happier. Yeah. This story came out a while back, but we were so busy. <sighs> you know our stance on fat models. It has been... Yes. Just a harrowing few years here where they're trying to destroy the Victoria's Secret brand yeah. by bringing on fatsos. Yep. And not only that, they, Victoria's Secret you hired fucking try me, fatso. a model with Down's syndrome. Crazy. With the hope of making inclusion cool. Well, guess what? Victoria's Secret plans to bring sexy back. We're yeah. done. We're done with fat models. And guess what it's... Um, Thank you so much, Victoria's Secret, for bringing back hot Guess what thin. it's all about, you guys. Revenue is yeah. down. <laughs> Revenue is down. Yeah. And Victoria's Secret was like, huh. oh, wait a minute. Our inclusivity and diversity focus isn't translating to dollars? No. Because it doesn't make enough dicks hard. And also exactly. women are like, I don't care. The Victoria's Secret brand is this. That's right. It's Naomi Campbell in a bra yes. and panties and amazed. heels. That's what the fucking brand is. Like Bud Light, the reason they oh. fucked up and their brand took such, because they went way on the outside of what they're known for. And they're like, we're this now. We're inclusion. And everybody's like, huh? 
Money went down. Now they're like, oh, wait a minute. Just kidding. That's not who we are. Yeah, it never was who you it were. Never. That, but that's but something that's really why. And can I tell of you? Of course, it's not who you are. Liar. Rihanna yeah. and Fenty yeah. could do this because that's a younger brand. Right. That's a new brand. An emerging brand. brand. Yeah. You can't take something that's been established. This is, this is what it is. This, this photo right here, uh, if you scroll down a little bit, you see this? That is what Victoria's Secret is known for in a nutshell. Yeah. It's nuts. It's shell. genetic anomalies. Busting nuts. Like people who you'd never see walking around. That's right. In the bra and panties and going, do you, do, does this make your dick hard? Mm -hmm. And women, do you wish you looked yes. like that? Yes. It's and a fantasy. It's, it's a supposed fantasy. To be. It's supposed to be a fantasy. It's not supposed to be. Oh, cool. Cellulite. Everyone has yeah. it. Not a, not a Victoria's Secret. Because yeah. I don't fantasize about being 250 pounds right. and missing a limb. I don't want that no, fantasy. Of course. You're like, that's a horrible fantasy. It's a horrible life. Where they have the, now they have the runway models like on crutches and they're like, here, here's this fucking chick <laughs> who your lost hard. her leg. And you're like, what the fuck? Yeah. And it's, you know what it's like? It's like when McDonald's got all that heat for that documentary, um, Super Size Me. Uh-huh. And they're like, well, guess what? We're serving salads now. And it's yeah. like, yeah, but nobody goes no to McDonald's I know. for your salads. Well, that's because McDonald's was still like, uh, we'll just tell you their salads, but don't worry, the fries aren't going anywhere. <laughs> like, that's, we know why you these come here. These are the here. fries. Yeah, these are the we fries. We want the fries. We want the fries. Yeah. Just give me the good stuff. I'm yeah. so excited. What Victoria's Secret and those companies good. should do is just make, make public donations. That always works. That's true. Hey, guess what? We donated to this fucking... Uh, organization that helps oh people with God. missing limbs. Oh, yeah. no. This was like a runway show a for disaster. them. It's a disaster. Yeah. Again, Rihanna does it. Different story. That's Rihanna's brand. It's yeah. cool. Not for Victoria's. Not when you've established this is a brand that makes people's dick hard for traditionally yeah. good looking, thin, hot chicks. Yeah, yeah, of course. The, you can't just, you just destroy the brand. Yeah. It's so weird. To it's have. so and weird. And also, so what a, dumb. Like, you're not supposed to give participation awards in oh business my God. business isn't about participation trophies no it's about merit-based you know earnings yeah you, you get you get what That's you right. get because it's good can i tell you something this whole thing of like here's a downs girl in a bra and panty it's like what are you doing to people what are you doing now you're making us sexualize somebody with down syndrome Who's like childlike? is that supposed to be she, diminished capacity that you they're childlike in nature and now you want me to sexualize yeah. them yeah can, Can I tell you something? If I were the CEO of Victoria's Secret, yeah. when all this woke horse shit came around, yeah. I would have doubled down on tits, on hot yeah. TNA. Yeah. And I would find the hottest freaks of nature out yeah. there and be like, Victoria's Secret, we're not even keeping it old school, keeping it hot. They should have Making been like, dicks hard since 1980. We're not even selling panties anymore. Yeah. Here's this girl's asshole. <laughs> Victoria's Secret, it's inside her asshole. Thank yeah. you. Just whisper Thank into you. it. <laughs> like, put your ear up to her. You can asshole. whisper your Victoria's. You can whisper her your secrets into her their asshole, buttholes. and then she turns around. And she goes, "I heard you." Yeah. You know, God. Yeah. So see, this is the problem. This weird. is when everyone tries to jump on the the bandwagon. It's don't do it. Yep. Just do don't do it. Of course, they're not making money. Yeah, dude. Losing money will make you change. <laughs> and by the way, just so you know, Victoria's Secret, the actual quality yeah. of the stuff, it's not like the greatest. No, it's just cheapy. Twenty year olds wear it. I, my old ass can't. My tits can't fit into their. Don't even, they don't, don't even, even make know. them big enough for okay. my big old tits. It doesn't matter. I mean, I'm usually on the sites and I'm buying uh, <laughs> like worn panties. You know, like I do that. <laughs> I'm like just put in a ziploc and send it. So I'm not really Ugh. checking out the quality. And by the way, I walked by Victoria's Secret in the mall. Yeah. And they had these fat fat mannequins too. I almost fucking puked. <laughs> When I walked into the store, I was so well, mad. Here, let's... Hold on, hold on, before we go into it. And also, if I might make a plea to Sephora. Yeah. I know you guys don't shop there. Makeup? It's a makeup store where they carry all the makeup brands, and you yeah. go in there, and it's amazing. They, too, have jumped on this horse shit diversity thing where you yeah. walk in, and the poster of the model, it's a fat dude. And he's, oh, he's, he's got makeup. vitiligo yeah. and freckles and teeth missing. He's like, I do my makeup too. Oh, now I know it's safe to be in this store. I Watch. don't want to look like the guy with vitiligo. No, I know. You want to look like a beautiful model. Like Marilyn Monroe. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Or anyone else. Well, look, you're too fired God up. Let's, damn let's change it. your tone for here for a second, okay? Jesus, you're so fired up. Hi, I'm Jamie. I use he, him pronouns. Oh, boy. 
Hi, I'm she can Bea. barely I use jump. She, her pronouns. She's too fat to jump. Hi, I'm Brandy. I use she, her pronouns. Hi, I'm Ailish. I use she, her pronouns. Huh? My favorite part of this is that everyone uses the pronouns that you think they use. Yeah. So, so it's not necessary to announce them. And secondly, they all have <laughs> lesbian footwear, which is a, it's a shocker <laughs> that any of them are using she, hers, because they're dressing like he, hims. They're dressing like non-binds, <laughs> like zims or zays. And, just, and then you think you're getting, you're getting like, oh, this is why it is. Hi, I'm Kai. I use she, her pronouns. Oh. Hi, I'm Stephanie. I use she, her pronouns. No shit. Oh, you mean exactly yeah. what we thought? Good. Thanks for clarifying. Except for you up front. I thought you might go the other way. I know. That's a woman? Yeah. Hmm. Just lesbian. Is there a lesbian pronoun? No, they don't. That's totally different. That's orientation. I know. But I, I'd rather know, okay, Somebody's sexual. here's the deal, man. Fuck off with your gender identity. Tell me what you're into. What you're into. Now I'm on board for pronouns. Okay. I would be a hundred percent on board if she's like pussy licking uh, foot fetish, and mm -hmm. you're like, great. Oh, now cool. I know about you. He him. I blow guys. <laughs> <laughs> I like hairy, sweaty, stinky uh, nuts and yeah. sweat socks that smell real bad. Nice. I like that. Well. Okay. Let's see. Well, who else is? No, I gotta get out of this. It's just too much. <laughs> um, I'll, I'll do something fun. This Can we is do this at fun. YMH? I want you guys all jumping and letting me know your fucking yeah. pronouns. We should do that for the holidays. <laughs> Have everybody. Hi. Hey, I'm Josh. <laughs> He's he him pronouns. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking idiot. <laughs> Be like, get out of here, <laughs> stupid. Life insurance is an easy way to give your family peace of mind. It provides a safety net. So if something were to happen to you, your family can cover expenses while getting back on their feet. Luckily, Policy Genius helps you compare your options from top companies and their team of licensed experts are on hand to help talk you through it. I love Policy Genius because it's simple. It puts together all your options in one place. So like it just takes the headache out of it. With Policy Genius, you can find life insurance policies that start at just $292 per year for $1 million of coverage. Some options offer same day approval and avoid unnecessary medical exams. Policy Genius has licensed award-winning agents who can help you find the best fit for your needs. They work for you, not the insurance companies. That means they don't have an incentive to recommend one insurer over another so you can trust their guidance. Your family deserves peace of mind. A life insurance policy through Policy Genius can give it to them. Head to policygenius.com slash mom or click the link in the description to get your free life insurance quotes and see how much you could save. That's policygenius.com slash mom. Mary Ballsmas from our friends over at Manscaped. Keep calm and let your balls jingle this season with Manscaped's brand new performance package 5.0 Ultra featuring the new Lawnmower 5.0. Look nice when you're going naughty by going to manscaped.com and use code MOM for 20% off plus free shipping. Look, I don't let my husband use any other product but Manscaped. It's really kept everything down there so smooth, so clean. Ladies, you got to get this for your husbands, your boyfriends, your your significant whatevers. Manscaped Performance Package 5.0 Ultra is the ultimate bundle for the man who deserves it all. Included in this special sack is the Lawn Mower 5.0 Ultra, the Weed Whacker 2.0 Ear and Nose Trimmer, Manscaped's liquid formulations, and two free gifts. This fifth-generation trimmer features two next-gen blade heads, a standard trimmer blade for taking a little off the top, and a new foil blade to go for that smooth finish wherever your heart desires. Get 20% off and free shipping with the code MOM at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com and use code MOM. Manscaped, get your jingle balls ready for the holidays. This will change your mood. Okay, all right. Oh, I don't know why I look like fucking Mufasa and shit right now because of my fucking bellies and shit, but that's not even the point, fool. There's times, fool, where I'm just posted and I'm just like, yeah. huh, like, fool, I'm smart, fool. Yeah. You know? I know that I'm smarter than shit. Like, I'm gonna get a bachelor's and shit one day. Hey. <laughs> but, fool, there's just certain things that I'm like, huh? Like, what do you do that? How do you do that? Work? Like, huh? I need a little bit of assistance and shit, you know? But but don't get the game fucked up, fool. Like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I love the best thirty seconds She's of my life. I'm my absolute hero. And speaking of, what's uh, the R rolling on no I'm, R's? I don't There's no know, R there. Like, like right, I know, dude. That's her fucking thing. That's though. wild. Straight up. Well, I'm smart, fool. 
Fool, I'm smart. Right. Straight up. Speaking of cholos, there's just certain things that I'm like, huh? That I'm like, See? The rum, rum. Yeah. That's her that's her invented, dude. Yeah, she invented okay. a whole fucking vernacular. Listen, fool, she's smarter than you think. You get a fucking bachelor's one day hey. and shit. Yeah. Um, straight up. Also, I'd like to promote it came out a while back too. Uh yeah. I did a sketch with Creeper, yeah. Cholo Fit. So awesome. It's on YouTube right now. Um, the premise is that I moved to Texas and I lost my inner chola. And he came out here to Austin just to help me reclaim my inner chola. Yeah. It is on his YouTube page. Check it out. Cholo Fit Creeper. This shit is so funny. Frankie Quinones is my absolute, I, my heart. I just love it. He's so awesome. Funny. So He's funny. awesome. Yeah. We had the best time doing it. You know. <laughs> <laughs> you know. You know. You know. Hey. Um, you know Straight how many for- fucking people told me. And then I was there and I just saw it left and right nonstop. I'm at F1 and one of the title sponsors of it is Lenovo. And it was literally everywhere. And all day I got hit with like hundreds, hundreds of people. Well, I being, spent $5 million there it is. to That's get that on right there. On the track. Yeah. <laughs> Were you excited to see that? <laughs> so, I know I was tagged in these two. Yeah. It's so well, Novo. <laughs> yeah. I still can't believe people use this computer. I hear it's terrible. Yeah. This thing you never heard of. Not in, not once in my fucking, life. Yeah, ten million dollars. They need the advertising. Novo, because no one fucking knows about them. So yeah, yep. see, yeah, it's about time. Ta ta, they- there, retard. It's about time. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, I'm glad they're they're making themselves more visible because it's bullshit. It's I've the most. No by the way, it's the Lenovo. most fun few days I think I've ever well, had as a. Adult. Vroom vrooms going fast. It was so fucking fun. Is your dick still hard Shut from up. it all? Fucking unreal. Shout out to Philip Lee. He hooked me up with Red Bull and we got to do oh my God. I'm just like Yeah. I did feel like a make a wish thing. Like yeah. I took my foreign cousin and he, and everyone was he was telling everyone what we were doing and they were like, Are you dying? He goes, I think so. I think I am dying. Like Aww. I think I died tomorrow. Cause we got to like rally drive. We got to drive off road at Rally Ready and Broncos and shit, and then we got to uh, we they flew us there on the Red Bull chopper. And then we got to go to Coda and watch practice. Uh, we got to walk in the paddock. I got to walk on the grid. I got to oh my god! It was just like one thing after another, and the whole thing was so it's so impressive how they pull it off. Like it is insane there on a race weekend. It's Insane. a lot. Formula One's good race, it's good cars, good. Ferraris, fast, fast cars. Ferraris, sexy cars, Europeans nice. love Formula One. They don't understand NASCAR. What is yeah. this shit going in circles is stupid. Yeah. Yeah. But Formula One is incredible because they lock down entire cities usually. Sometimes sometimes the circuit is it. in the city. In Which Australia, it's in the city. In Monaco, it's in the city. Yeah, it's really impressive. Yeah. yeah so much money behind these cars. Oh my How much God. is like... How much is like the Red Bull car? How much does it cost? Yeah. It's uh, probably like, I don't know, it's over a hundred million. What? Yeah. I mean, the team, Dang. the team is going to be like, um, oh, here, what's the, so they can spend the car 12 to 15 million. There's, there's permitted to spend 135 million on materials and activities related to the car. So the nine figure thing is like everything related to it. Yeah. That is so crazy. It's, um, it's fucking wild. Yeah. They spend wow. so much money. Their team will sometimes be like a thousand people, you know, because you That's don't even wild, see the whole dude. team there. Like what do, what did it change, change the tires and yeah. do the, uh, there's a tire speed things and science stuff. Then there's like tire strategy, you know, cause you, ha- you, you pick your tire and then you're going to switch them out. So you pick out like, are you going to do medium hard tire? Like, you know, and you pick out how you want to do it d- depending on the track and the weather. And there's just like the smartest engineers are seeing information sent back in real time to engineers who are going tweak this turn like, you know, so they're making these little modifications, the most minuscule things based on information that's coming back to them in real time. Like it's, it's really unbelievable when you think about how involved a team is for F1. It's a lot. It's a lot. It's really impressive. Really impressive, like watching it in person. Um, how fast do they go? They'll hit like I know at Coda on that back straight after uh, what is it, turn ten, I think, um, or eleven. 
Yeah, turn 11, they over 200, they'll hit 210, wow. 200, yeah. In kilometers, so how is the so fast in kilometers? 330 or something more, yeah. Foreigner speed. Yeah, I don't think they'll hit 220 on that back straight, but they'll, um, they fucking, yeah, like 354. They're, they're fucking flying. And then they're, where, when they break is insane. Like if you're in a regular high performance car on the, on the, on Coda, mm. you know, your first time you'll break at 250, what is it, feet before, and then you kind of, Start going a little That's bit. That's a lot of right? breaking. The going. F1 guys will break at 75. Whoa. Because their brakes are so, so they'll hit 210, 15 miles an hour. And then at 75 feet, they'll go. Just tap it. Yeah. That's why. Is it feet? It must be yards. I'm, I'm probably wrong. It's probably yards. I don't even know. But it's so much shorter because of, and they're fucking like laying down in those things. It's That's just, the crazy part. Remember when we had your homeboy on here? talking about it daniel yeah he was talking about how like dude it's just so tiny the, you, know, the, like, you should see up close when you stand next to that you're like how does an adult man fit in this dude but those guys are all really lean they're like really thin guys yeah you gotta be in great shape too it's wild yeah. dude yeah their necks some of those dudes have necks that are like out to here because of the g-forces you know it's crazy town. Yeah. has anyone died driving formula one yeah yeah like recently um like Straight up. There's a Formula I'm 2 several. driver died a few years ago. I'm trying to think of the last time a Formula 1 guy died. There was one that almost died a couple of years ago. Formula 1, let's see. Oh, uh, list. Oh, shit. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, dang. These boys are young, too. Yeah. Jules Bianchi. Oh. Very young. Dude, he's so little. 2014 uh, at the Japanese Grand yeah. Prix. I don't even know how to say it. Artin Senna. Is the only former champion to die from a crash during a world championship race, the 1994 San Marino Grand Prix. Yeah, he's like legendary. Oof, that's terrible. Yeah, it's crazy. I mean, some of the crashes are also just, you can't believe that someone didn't die in it, but that's how advanced the safety and the technology is now that sometimes mm. you see these spectacular crashes and the people live. Do you think Formula One will allow fat people to drive their cars. They should be more inclusive. The only yeah. reason they're not doing that is because there's no fucking way they'd win anything. <laughs> um, yeah. You're, you can't, you're, yeah. You're, you're giving up too much time. Too much time. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. You gotta be, probably weigh nothing to be a driver. The huh? lighter you are, the better. Yeah. Because these guys are, like a second is a lifetime. Sarreo. One second. Well, like maybe they should have like women drive. Are there any lady drivers? Not in Formula One. There should be maybe. How about NASCAR's got a lady? Yeah. Why can't they? Why come they can't have no uh, ladies? There might be lighter in the in the. Oh, maybe they're on strength or something. I don't know. I don't know. know. Let's see it, bitch. You think you're Let's good? See it. Fucking show up. Where's the lady drivers <laughs> at? But she's got different pronouns. She's probably not a she/her. Uh, all right. You know I mean? Well. Let's Just take like those cold plunge type of broads, am I right? Right, right. Let's take let's take a quick break. Well, oh, I'm smart fool. Hey. And uh, we'll be back in a moment. That's my girl. And we are back. Very happy to welcome for the first time to this show the very funny Nate Jackson, Whee! everybody. Let him hear it. Um you just informed me that at the time of this recording, you're in town and you're doing twelve sold out shows what? at Cap City. Uh, yeah, this year's a whirlwind. Bro, that's, in congratulations. That's massive. Thank you so much. That's really impressive. Uh, it's gotta be super exciting for you. Yes, pandemonium, man. It's been, I'm telling you, it's nuts. Yeah. So, um, you, you'll like this little tidbit. So, I, I actually own a club in Tacoma, Washington. Oh, you do? It's the biggest black-owned club in America, 280 seats. Really? What's yeah. the name of the club? Nate Jackson Super Funny Comedy Club. No <laughs> shit. All right. Yes. I just call things what they are. You know what? I think <laughs> black people are the best at that. Yeah. Not calling it what it is? Yes, calling it what it yeah. is. Yeah. Like, what's the weather outside? Yeah. Hot than a motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. Back to you, yeah. Chuck. Yeah, that's yeah. fucking perfect. For sure. Um, but, uh, so I had, um, I've done Wild and Out. Mm -hmm. And so I brought one of my castmate friends from Wild and Out, and he sold like 58 tickets across five shows. Okay. And then the following year, I brought him to do it again, and um, I didn't care about the 58 tickets. my boy. You yeah. Know, we'll paper it, whatever. And he sold out four shows in like 15 hours. Wow. And I said, what would you do different? And yeah. he was like, oh, I'm on TikTok. You got to mm -hmm. get on there. It's, I love TikTok. I live it's on just TikTok. The so way Matt that, Rife. Yeah. Oh, told me to get on there and i was like i don't want another app right the same that you're you're what you're saying right I'm now i think it's everything we all said like, don't want like i don't app. want to do it tiktok don't want that. 
And but I went on his page and I screenshotted, and then I went back the next day and compared the screenshot. To, uh, he had like twenty five thousand new people in like eight hours. I was like, I, I can, I can probably post. Yeah, that. Yeah. yeah, probably find a couple videos to post. Bro, so how long ago did you start going? I'll, I'll post to TikTok. I watched that full episode and drooled watching it because that's my boy, man. Watching people's astronomical rises out of nowhere, yeah, is 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 nuts. So, uh, March is when my shit popped. It just happened, yeah. Basically, and so since March, I'm the um, I've sold more tickets in any in the comedy club system in America in 2023 than anybody. Hey, so I broke the sales record in Chicago. I did 17 shows. Wow. Yeah. Well, I did 16, and then Hannibal Burris hit me on Instagram with a newspaper article and was like, "I did 16 at the time," <laughs> and I was like, "You shouldn't show me after I left town, brother." Yeah. <laughs> One more, please. And you did that. So, yeah, nice. 17. It was cool. Zanies gave me like a, a, a jersey and that's then awesome. Some Aww. custom Jordans that say like 17 sold out, and then um, at Atlanta Underground, I did I think 10 or 11. That was their record. Wow. And then yeah, there's 12 here at Cap City. It's I think crazy. The only one with tickets might be this Monday at nine thirty p.m. And then, you, so you're like like Matt in the sense that like you have to credit just embracing TikTok, right, and putting it on there and like finding an audience there. Yeah, because it made everything take off. So yeah. I think it's definitely the catalyst. I think the key is put your stuff where the people are. Yeah. Who cares what app it is? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. These algorithms are built for us. Yeah. If somebody watches you, like, oh, you like this? Yeah. We'll send you more. Yeah. And so that's on you to have the more there for them to send. Yeah. It's yeah. So amazing. it's um it's been pandemonium. Um I haven't slept uh today or last night or whatever yet. I yeah. just got off stage in Ontario improv and then came here. My gosh. Uh Americans split me and my team up because our luggage was too big. So hopefully they'll be here soon. Uh huh. But it was they were like either you get rebooked or you leave your bags or whatever. I was like, I'll oh, just go. You guys catch American up. American Airlines with me. can go fuck themselves. My God, I wish you said it before I could say it. I couldn't <laughs> believe it. They and they took my seat from me. I had I knew I was gonna be tired, so I was like, let me get a first class seat where I can sleep. Yeah. And they took my seat and put me in a middle seat, mm -mm. no bags, middle seat. I was like, This is insane. Mm -mm. What did I pay for? Yeah. So my road manager's like, I got this. Yeah, yeah. Dr. Heath they're... Hollingsby is his name. He's Dr. Gonna, Heath. Oh yeah, nice white gentleman. He's gonna mm. he's gonna send a hell of a message. Nice. It's, it's nice when they sound black the, at all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Some That's people are nice. really good at the complaint, like how to complain. Now he knows how to do it. Yeah. Yeah. Not not in like a you know it's our fault or your fault, but it's like we should just make this right. Yeah. Make this right. Yeah. Yeah. Give us some miles, man. Please. Hook it up. Well, dude, congrats on all that. That's it's an huge. amazing thing. It's so fun. I I'm like you in that like I love watching other comedians like hit it it's just so fun you know for like in in the circle that we're in you always celebrate other comedians so that i'm very happy for you man that's well, awesome thank you yes. very much that's really I'm cool the same oh, way. i helped good. so many people for you i've been doing this 18 years i've been helping so many people they pop and get amnesia ah. so i'm so thankful that yeah something lined up <laughs> some lined up and i'm like it's my turn yeah and they're like nay who i don't know you man yeah. <laughs> please don't i like i have been moving in silence and just yeah. like it's insane right now yeah that sounds like you it man that it sounds like it going. Sounds, and you're yeah. keeping your work keeping your sanity uh is a is, is a good thing to do right so you're just Keep your friends who were your friends before. It oh, yeah, popped. no new friends. Yeah. That part. I'm all yeah. friends. I was it literally up. about to say no yeah. new friends. Yeah, you don't need new Please. friends. Please, no new and, nothings. In fact, I will yeah. tell you that the friends that I've had since I was like 13, 14 years mm -hmm. old are the best ones to have when you are successful yeah. because they have watched the grind. me and Tom since we were basically children. He and I, you know, growing yeah. up together. And then, well, not really 20 years. What a 20s. But yeah. yeah. And then the struggle and living in the fucking Rampart division. And then people telling us, like, what are you doing? Are you sure you want to do this still? Are you yeah. still doing comedy? Yeah. It's what do you like, think is going to happen? You. That's what they would say. What do you think is going to happen? You think you're going to make it? And you're like, Jesus Christ. Not our friends, though. <laughs> yeah. The people that watch you and are rooting for you and like, yeah. go, dude, go, dude. They and appreciate then when you pop, one bit hitting. They're like, yeah. oh, dude, that. And with the other stuff, yeah. I can see that, like, you're building something. It's yeah. fun. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm in the stage right now where, like, um, there's definitely no new friends. And then like, there's a lot of people who are having to gain a new perspective of what's going on. Mm. And I haven't quite taken it all. It's ridiculous. Like, what do you mean? Like people like haters now? No, I don't. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm 40. I've been just 18 years. There's no haters around me. Everybody's like, is lovely in Good. that sense. Um, 
but it's more like I don't know how else to put it. Like, like I'm trying to figure out how to share the truth with people without it sounding like I'm beating my chest. Oh, mm. right. With people that like, yeah, they're like, yeah. what'd you do this weekend? I'm like, um, yeah, I did. Sure, fifteen shows. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I did seventeen shows. Yeah. So, and they're like, oh, I'm a, you know, what I'm saying, sure. Um, and where I'm from, um, I don't know if, if there's not a lot of uh, exceptional things like that. Right. Um, Some people aren't going to be ready for it. You know, no, and like Joe Coy's from Tacoma, Washington. Sure. went to high school and everything there, but I think he claims a Vegas when it comes to where he started mm -hmm. comedy. Right. So we don't have an OG that like super popped where they're like, yeah. this is even a possible thing. So right now I'm doing stuff that one I can't fathom, and two they like my friends and family and confidants nobody else can either. So I'm just trying to take it all in stride. Yeah, I mean, I think the only thing you can do, like, and this that anyone can do is just stay focused on what got you there. You know, if you, if you stay focused on your work, on your stand-up, then nobody can take anything. Like, there's going to be people that, you know, aren't ready for what you're doing, aren't ready for your success, you know, because it's, it's threatening to some people. Like, even people that are your friends will be like, because they can't relate to it. Like, a friend can relate to, like, you going, I sold out a show. They're like, oh, that's cool. I'm happy for you, man. You know, but, like, right. sometimes you, you'll, some people in your circle are like, 12 shows. It's like, it's like, can't really fathom it like you're saying and like the only thing you can do is just be like well this is my reality now and i just focus on stay focused on your work you know i've had people assess where we are in our friendship with what i was willing to give them right yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. like hey i need a little help okay well how much help and it's almost like they threw a dart at a board and they just say a crazy number and i'm like i can't do that but i thought we were friends man uh, a little bit of that. Yeah. But, yeah. you know, but I seen a Bronx tell. So I'm like, all right, well, here's your one ask. Yeah. Oh, mm. yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. I had a, a, a really successful guy tell me one time about someone asking for money. Mm -hmm. like, what do you do when like a close friend or family asks for money? He goes, I tell them, I'm going to give you this amount of money, like whatever the amount is, you don't have to pay it back. Like you don't have to pay it back. Right. But then you can never ask again. Ooh, that's good. Mm. Well, I don't, I don't, I don't loan or give anything that I like was strapped to yeah. give in the first place. But my family, um, we're different. Like my whole family's entrepreneurs and stuff. Like mm -hmm. I never saw anybody go to a nine to five job. Everybody had their own business. Yes, literally. Uh, yeah. Whether it was telecommunications or educational consulting or authors, like everybody in my house was like, so my stuff popped, which they thought was you know uh, inevitable. Yeah, I didn't know. Um, I was just couch to couch grinding and now stuff's taking off and they have talked amongst themselves to say don't ask him for money yeah because he's just getting it yeah and that will make him cool off to family I tried to pay my sister I went to Raleigh and she did merch for me mm -hmm. and I tried to pay her and she's like absolutely not I'm she like, wouldn't accept you? it I said you busted your ass like we these merch lines are insane yeah. I, and I'm like, I'm sore. I know you're sore. And all I did was lean and sign. Yeah. You were grabbing boxes and shirts. She's like, no, I'm your sister. And I don't want you to blur the lines between us. nice. God. Wish my family was like that. Jesus, I was going to say. <laughs> Stars were like, can you give me some more shit? Can you send her to <laughs> live? Some can more shit, shit is hilarious. Some stuff? Can you send her to live with my sister? <laughs> Maybe, can I, I don't want to pay for the lipstick. Can you send it to me? I'm like... That's my favorite. The fact right? that they know exactly what it is. Yeah. And you're like, more shit. It's yeah. all shit. Yeah. It's my hilarious. favorite Damn. for... Um, <laughs> For like asks mm. is they'll be like, hey, uh, I know you just announced this show and it's a huge venue. So there's so many tickets available when you announce the show. Not them cocking in your walkout. And they'll go, no, they'll go. Uh, <laughs> what? They fucking go, Dicks. hey, uh, can you uh, can you give me some tickets? And you're like, yeah, sure. And they're like, and also, mm. can um, I want to take so-and-so. Um, I want to take Dr. So-and-so. Right. I want to take so-and-so that owns this fucking like real estate company. I'm like, that, uh, how much do you think these tickets are? Like, don't you think these people can buy the tickets? And she's like, yeah, but I want to like do something for them. Right. I'm like, well, have them take, do networking. something else for them. Yeah. Like, yeah. Take them to Top Golf. Yeah. Yeah. They don't, don't fucking have to be involved with my shit. For, <laughs> They're like, why? I need 22 kills. Yeah, dude. Like, <laughs> no. like, you're just asking me to hand you cash. Literally. Yeah. You know, Oprah had a no giving money to family policy. Yeah. Like a 0. 0.0. Yeah, well, how's she doing now? <laughs> Oh, then right. again, it sounds like she didn't come from a great family yeah. either. So maybe that's part of it. Like, I don't know. 
That's got to be a, like a very money. weird level to be fucking on, though. Money. When people Dude, know that's you have like, like you have like endless resources, and everyone's like, just fucking. How what's much the money big does deal? Oprah have? Will you Google that? It's, I'm so curious. It's several okay, billion. Okay, so one time, billion, I billion. have a I have a friend of a friend who went to stay with Sheesh. Oprah. Yeah. Two point eight billion. Yeah. That's I a, a f- lot of hundred dollar bills. <laughs> it <laughs> it is, man. It is. Golly. I had a friend of a friend stay with Oprah in Hawaii on her property in Maui, and her friend the the friend goes. So how big is that? Like, what do you own? How big is this land? And she goes, I own as far as the eye can see. Okay, Mufasa. Golly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I love that. As far okay, I'll tell you, I'll tell as you, the uh, eye um, can see. I was like, uh, Understanding Oprah's money moment that, that, that I had. Okay. Uh, we celebrated my dad's 70th birthday in Olympia, Washington at um, this event center. And a close family friend of ours is Dr. Dr. Maxine Mims. And uh, she's like one of the founders of Evergreen State College and a lot of wonderful accolades. She also was Oprah's best friend. And uh, she came to that and she was like, I would like to politely invite you to my birthday. (laughs) Same space, uh, like maybe a month later, and the entire room was white, white roses, white lilacs, white everything. And I was like, dang, what package was this? And they're like, no, Oprah bought all this and she keeps every flower. It had to be 5,000 flowers. Yeah. I never, it was, it was insane. It, was, it looked like a parade float got broken down. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> this is just for her little, party. I mean, for her birthday. Wow. It was amazing though. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's what $2.8 billion. That's can wild. Get you. Yeah. But I like hearing people loving on people that way. Yeah, sure. I have people who ask me for my, I'm like, what do you, what? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. And I'd rather they ask for a thing than a, a uh, number. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Sure. I want to have a birthday party be a cool ask, right? That'd be dope. That'd be or dope. to just say, hey, I'm having a birthday party. Do you want to come? Yeah, yeah. And Oprah's like, in my, because I can't make it, but in my absence, yeah. here's more flowers here's every than anyone's flower ever in the seen. State. Here's yeah. every white flower in That's Northwest. That's fucking very cool. Yeah. Yeah, what does that do to a person to have unlimited resources? Like It brings out who you really are, for sure. It must. It really brings just out who you are. no ceiling. I yeah. mean, look, should I heat it up a Pop-Tart today and I felt like a queen, you know? From heating up a Pop-Tart? Uh, yeah. That's how low I... <laughs> It's, still live you know like i'm still in the <laughs> rampart division in some yeah. ways for me it's the toaster strudel like oh. putting my own frosting on i'm like i am doing it <laughs> that's the best toaster strudels are so good own frosting the apple the cinnamon shit. That's, that's yeah mm. have you seen this by the way i've yeah. been wanting to show you this this is a clip from i guess it aired on the news but it really makes me laugh has been forced to block dozens of calls after her ex-partner allegedly took her phone number and plastered it on poles here around the cbd telling people to call up and impersonate Chewbacca for a chance to win $100. This would be the most childish breakup I've ever had. It's amazing. All he had to do was be mature and go, I don't love you anymore, I want to move on. The calls have been waking her and her three young children up at odd hours in the evening, and they're yet to stop. (laughs) I won 500 bucks. Well, I'm getting phone calls at really strange hours of the night, about one o'clock till four o'clock. Forced to call back the wannabe Wookiees and tear down the posters. <laughs> so her ex Amazing. put up a sign that said Chewbacca Roar Contest <laughs> and gave out her phone number all over the city. It's amazing. And just had people leave, like you just have to leave a roar at this number. And not only that, <laughs> the, the part where he nailed it is that offering a hundred dollar ro- like yeah. cash prize for yeah. the best one. That's how he nailed this yeah. shit. You give someone some free shit, it's over. By the way, does this bitch not know you can turn the ringer off your phone? I don't know. Like you Probably don't have not. to answer the call. At 1 she didn't know to fucking put teeth in her mouth. I was gonna say she doesn't know about <laughs> sugar content. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Holy shit! I want to see her buy the apple. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of fucking teeth. Here we go. We do is put four teeth in there. This is a real friend. I know there's a kid behind him. No, uh, I don't know if I can watch up. this. I, have I do like well, his haircut, though. Oh, here we go. Damn, I don't know if I'm ready or not. I got you. Oh, shit. You hold on to me. Don't no, me. fucking no. <gasps> Quit. It's coming. Oh! Oh, I can't. I just... There it is. What? Bro. That's fake. No. Yeah. I'll let it come out, too. We didn't leave nothing. That's fake. No, his blood come pouring out of his mouth. <laughs> My God. Oh, fuck. It's going to bleed. Put that rag right, in there. Right, Cap that rag up yeah. in there. Fuck. Put My favorite part dirty rag? is that this guy's got 
ATVs, a house, yeah. and a yard. Yeah. And he's yeah. not like, hey, maybe I should ride one of these things down to a fucking dentist's <laughs> office. <laughs> like, what the fuck, man? So you don't have, you're not out on the river. That's just that's fucking. That's he's got a house. Bit, yeah, he's not Bro, destitute. What are you doing? Where is this? Tennessee. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 He got to go to the hospital now. Uh, he's probably just, I mean, he's missing the fucking four other ones. Uh, he's probably just like, just, you know, add to the collection. He needs Dude. to meet the girl from the last video. There's so many people that like <laughs> the <really> two. <laughs> Could you see them Frenching each other? <laughs> or just, oh. uh, just trying to whistle. <laughs> It'd be amazing. <laughs> the fuck, man. Yeah. There's so That's many people wild. that will do anything to avoid a dentist. I get it. A dentist yes. is not fun. But shit, I mean, you're you're losing one by one. But some people don't see the importance of teeth. He doesn't. Some people really don't value teeth. Yeah, it's seriously. Like, oh, it's not a big deal if I'm missing one or four. Big deal. But but like, I don't know who I would call to be like, hey, come pull this tooth out. Yeah. Like, Dude. was that their dentist? <laughs> <laughs> Just the like, who has dentist? that skill? <laughs> And the other guy, guy, guy was yanking good at it. He could have got the uh, wrong tooth. He like, knows, oh, like, man. grab a rag. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oops. Oops. That guy knows. He knows how to do it. Yeah. The he's, yeah. he's like, it's coming. Just sit yeah. tight. Sit tight. <laughs> Put Stand. the rag in there. You need a rag. Stay in. Stay in. I need leverage. He knew, like, don't get down there. Dude, but do you know how hard it is to actually pull a tooth out? Like, have you ever had a tooth pulled? Like, they, they sometimes they have to break them. Yeah, in pieces and then just yeah. go in. It. No, not, not Jim Bob. So, but that means it was ready to go. Quick. No. Quick, no. Quick, quick. quick. I mean, this is with a mm. knife. <laughs> you fuck Even the dog thing. is like, I'm out of here. Now. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm just like, that's not a good noise. Well, goddamn, which tooth is he going for? Hold on. Fuck off, man. <laughs> Oh, Did you hear the crash? Yeah. He broke it. Yeah, he got it. Fuck, dude. Okay, Doki. Oh. <laughs> All right. Oh. Nice. Woo. A money oh shot. God, I think I got it. You got it, Teddy. Look at that bad tooth, folks. Yeah, yeah I know. Look at that fucking thing. That's the way you do it at Falcon Car Wash. Where? I never want to. What did he say? <laughs> Where? Falcon Car Where Wash. Where? I'll yeah. never ever go there. Joke I'll try on. Eagle. I'll try yeah. Robin. But I'm never going to Falcon Car Wash. Dude. Dude. Jesus yeah. Christ. That's a whole lane of person who will take their own teeth out. That's I a would. Really, you would? Yeah. If I'm old enough and drunk enough. What the fuck are you talking if about? If I'm like, okay, put it this way. If I'm super old. I don't want to go to the fucking dentist. Okay. I might. If I'm like 80 and they're just falling out. Shit, my, my dentist said I might have to get an implant on this back too that's root canal and really? crown yeah. uh -huh. and shit. Go to I'm another like, dentist. Who's like, you're like, fine. Yeah. <laughs> what are they they're just trying to run you up. <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah. They look in your mouth and make up fake cavities. We got to fill all these. Yeah. Like, $90 to fill. I don't have dental insurance. Why is she trying to hustle me? I don't know. Golly. You think he wears condoms? <laughs> this guy? <laughs> Just out of curiosity. Not a chance. <laughs> Definitely. Never, dude. This guy. <laughs> condoms. By the way, have Amazing. you? We've been. Oh, I didn't know. That, do you know who Jesse Lee Peterson is? No. You don't? I'm, I need, I'm black. I need to see a picture. Oh, yeah. Because he's yeah. black, too. Um, I thought this was a white woman. Isn't that the lady from um, Rob Deerdeck's show? Oh, no, no. It's very different. Okay. Very different. Um, Jesse Lee Peterson? Yes. Sounds so like he could fight. He, um, he's got like a presence online. I'll, I'll just give you like an idea of who he is and we'll get into it. But it's just, it's been fascinating to watch. And what made you become a liberal? Oh, yeah. That's, you know, this guy's a little yeah. older, a little smarter. I saw DC on oh, flight. You grew out of it, yeah. And you were tired of being a man? <laughs> <laughs> so you woke up one day, you know what? I'm tired of being a man. I want to be a liberal. There are plenty of men that are liberal. Not you real really, men. You really think so? Men who are liberals are betas. <laughs> <laughs> betas. I saw another one where he was saying, like, you're a whore or something like Dude, that. Dude, he has. He has, he has, you know, I went through a this divorce. One. Yeah. And then I started dating after that. And it's like, well, if going out on a date with a guy makes me a slut, then that's just what I'm going to be. I don't think 
going out on a date make you a slut, but having sex with different men makes you make you a slut. Well, what does it make you if you have sex with different women? A slut maker. <laughs> a slut maker. <laughs> oh, wow. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Isn't that amazing? amazing? I never saw the clip that far. Yeah. Isn't that amazing? It's literally amazing. Yeah, it's a good hey, who argument. Who says slut like that? A yeah. slut. slut. Yeah, he has a, a very maker. specific like speech impediment in a way. Do you yeah. regret not getting married, having children now that you're older? Well, and I'm gay. You're gay? Yeah. <laughs> you don't look gay. <laughs> you come in all shapes and sizes, brother. So you're gay? I'm gay. I didn't know you were gay. Yeah, well, I just told you. How did you become gay? One doesn't become gay. One is born that way. Does I'm God know you're gay? I believe so. Did he make you that way? I, that's my opinion. You think that God made you gay? I have no, you know, I don't, I don't know the, I'm not going to be presumed to uh, 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 plumb the depths of the, of the most high, oh, but yes, I've, I've been gay as long as I can remember. And so, have you been with men? Of course. Like sexually? Yes. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> 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 Now the craziest thing is like his uh, his views with black people because he talks as if you're black. He's not. Yeah, have yeah, you seen I, those? I saw him it's talking wild. to DC on fly. Mm -hmm. DC just like lost it. So oh, he did. He just started praying for him. Or oh something. my god, <laughs> it was amazing. He says the wildest shit. Where I'm like, so my friend did the show and he thought it was a bit. He was like, is this? Like, it's not. Like, it's not a bit. Oh, I thought it was like that slow girl on Instagram that's <laughs> interviewing everybody. <laughs> Is she no. really like that? No, I think that she, is a that's bit. That's got to be a bit. That's a, that's a bit, but this a bit, isn't yeah. a bit. A yeah. slow girl on Instagram. Michelle, what do you what do you people want? You people. What do I want? Michelle. When you say you people, what do you mean? <laughs> the complaining black people. Sorry, uh, smiling. Blaming <laughs> yeah, like, others like, for huh? their parents and their lives. What the uh, Blaming others mean? for whatever it is you're complaining about. What is it exactly <laughs> do you want from white people? <laughs> She's like, what is this question? It's too much to unpack. Yeah, yeah. she's just. She's like, I don't even know where to begin. Just let me take a breath. Yeah. And. I'm trying to find out I what want... you want. What's your nationality? American. Are you white? I'm black American. Oh, okay. What do you want? I need to be <laughs> 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 He says wild shit, though. Yeah. Yeah, he's for sure in the house. Can I tell you something? I think that gay thing. But it's like other level, though. Yeah, yeah. He's out of his fucking mind. It's think, other level. But yeah. I think that gay thing with the priest is he's like, you're a gay priest. Oh, like, that guy was maybe, a priest? Yeah. I yeah. think that's why he was tripping out. Not like just because he's gay, but like, dude, you're a priest. That's why he was asking him about and God. And you're gay? Yeah, like, that That would trip me out, too. Like, dude, well, you're, you're a priest, bro. Like, you, you know what I'm saying? Like, don't you have to shut that bit down if you're a gay priest? Well, he's not a Catholic because right there's us. Episcopalian priests. Oh, and they're and allowed they, to they're fuck allowed, dudes. Yeah, that's why you can wear whatever you want to church. Those guys, yeah, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> I think so. And they get married though, but they get married, have families. Episcopalians do. Gay, so, gay male priests can too. I'm assuming. I mean, the straight ones can get married. What and are have you calling kids. it? A what? Episcopalian. Episcopalian. Yeah, okay. It's just a denomination, you know, of that's Christianity. But that's the only thing that yeah, I. I thought the Christians just denounced gayness altogether. I didn't know. I across the board but there's more progressive I, I want to talk about stuff I know about I don't know about that no I don't yeah. know about Episcopalian that is a new word to me really, <laughs> yeah. really? and, and I, I pride myself on knowing some big words yeah yeah no I only know about it because um, there was pastor? an Episcopalian Your pastor pastor that to me and I uh, <laughs> I remember that. He was a great guy. I don't want to say anything bad about him. Sweet guy. Isn't that an East Coast type of Christian? Though? Like Episcopalian sounds real like East Coast waspy. I don't. Maybe. I don't it think sounds West Coast waspy. people are. Maybe Atlanta, San Francisco. Maybe. Yeah, I don't know, dude. Maybe. I don't know. You just stood on the side of white people just did saying we. We yeah, have. They wanted. Remember when they were begging for civil rights? They were begging for civil yeah. rights. Uh, uh, What's wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> and then we gave them civil rights, right? We gave them. What's yes. Wrong? Yeah. They wanted to integrate the schools. Remember that? You are amazing. Amazing. Breaking news. <laughs> I grew up on a plantation in Alabama. You know about that? You grew up on a plantation and you still have this mentality? Yes. It's called free mentality. It's called master. When my master, master said he sent, I said, yes, master, <clears throat> we sent. <laughs> okay. Yeah. 
That's a lot, man. He's a wild dude. Yeah, he needs to go get some healing. Mm. He's been, um, it's an endless stream of it too. Yeah, like it's an endless stream of these things. Like it's clips where you're like, that's why you think it's a bit. You think it's a joke. This but is for sure a bit. No. I don't think I don't so, know. man. Listen, nobody sits down with a black guest and says shit like that without the intention of getting and eliciting a response. But I mean, there's oh. no. It's why you're showing it to me. Well, <laughs> yes. You're like, we finally got a black guy. Let's like, show him the worst shit on the internet. Yeah, yeah. No, this is. <laughs> that is why we show it to you. Yeah. yeah. But that's not like, if you watch any of his stuff, there is no reveal. There is no like. The credits just roll? Yeah, dude. It's 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 just, it's real. He does like interviews. There is no, uh, I'm just like, you know, you're seeing where the bit comes. Like, it's just his real point of view. That's why I think this guy is like, oh, I maybe, mean, there's nobody like this. Maybe this he's like a hundred years you old. You think so? This is between two ferns. Do you think it's a bit? I don't think so. I mean, he's been at this for years and years of the exact same message. I mean, it's pretty wild. Yeah, see, the tenacity makes, there's this guy that thinks the Denver airport is satanic. And he makes videos upon videos. Oh, I heard that. I heard there's like a, a a basement or something full of a bunch of stuff. He says that it's. <laughs> you know, I mean, about it starts. I heard about it. It's not like yeah, I've been so down like, there. It starts with the, you know, the Bronco out, the horse out front has okay. like the eyes, and they're like those are the satanic eyes because it has the red okay. eyes. But he says there's phallic symbols in the airport, and yeah, the guy's totally. Some guys are just con like that's their mission. That must be his mission. But how how old is this guy? Him? He's this guy's seventy two. Yeah. <laughs> Like he said he was born on a plantation. He's the, he's from a time machine. Nineteen forty nine. So he's like a little bit yeah, younger I promise, than my dad. I promise this is not a bit, man. How this, many of his videos did Samuel L. Jackson watch before his role in Django? <laughs> <laughs> Seventy four years old. Yeah, he's he never parts from this. You know? No, no. Yeah. <laughs> there you are. There I am. Yeah, right <laughs> he's there. He's our new obsession. Our new obsession. That's so have you true. seen all these already? Not all of them. Have no. you seen that tooth video? It yeah. seemed like you knew it was coming. You were like, the, oh, the knife man. one, yes. The but knife not the one we were seeing, watching yeah. first. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Amazing. Yeah. This show is just an endless stream of uncomfortable videos. That's what yeah. we just try to find, you know? Just like the worst stuff we can find. Really? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, you know. How do you stomach it all? Oh. Oh, shh. Oh, Ooh. come on, baby. Oh, that's fun, though. Oh, no. Where are the people at? Where are the little clowns? He's okay. Yeah, all right. <laughs> How do you get his pants off? That was pretty clever. That they bull. always ha it always happens like that. Every time we see a bull charge somebody, it ends up he ends up pantless. Yeah. I think those horns are actually specifically designed to remove pants. Yeah, like they're gay horns. Yeah, they're the gayest of all gay horns. Bulls. It's always men. Yeah. Yeah. There's you never see women dumb women enough to do this. They're Episcopals. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Episcopalian. <laughs> <laughs> Episcopal priests. Dang. I'm sorry. Whoever. <laughs> You don't have to do that on this show. <laughs> is this oh, horrible yeah, right. or hilarious? Oh. What I just saw? Yeah. Yeah. I can't watch this. Yeah, you, this yeah, is yeah I'm not going to be able to. I'll Come just look on. right at your forehead this really? whole time. Oh, the corner of my eye. I still saw it. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. <laughs> oh, he's still doing it. Oh, is he hitting himself? What? Oh, wow. he already lost the knuckle. It's a wow. carpentry joke. Jesus. My dad had friends that were missing knuckles who were carpenters growing up. I think this is carpenter humor. I was waiting for something much more horrible. I mean, I, mean, I looked at you, so yeah, I thought yeah. it all had yeah, happened. Yeah, yeah. Fuck. That was uh, terrible. Please never. I hated it. You did? Yeah, that's fucking terrible. Oh! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I like that one. Nate's down with this Look one. Oh, things. it's not blowing on it. <laughs> Fuck right off. He's fine. Look at his left. Oh! 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 He's got oh. fillers. Oh! Fillers. Hilarious. Dang, he's oh, bleeding? Shit. Dude, he's, he's swollen. Stop! Can't you get the bees off before you do this? Just go to the this? grocery store. Bro. Jesus Christ. How much is honey? Oh, I don't like oh, this at all. Oh my God. Guys, I have a question for you. What? Is he touched? With what? Bees? <laughs> Are you trying to figure out if he's full speed? I, he is touched <laughs> He's by not bees. full speed. He's a little slower than us. I'll tell you that right now. How, here's one thing I never bees. understood. You ever see the people <laughs> who have like a thousand bees on them and yeah. they're not getting yeah. stung? They're you're not. like, how the fuck are you not getting stung? Because they don't hurt the queen. Oh, is yeah. that why? Yeah, but she's in his mouth. <laughs> yeah, she is. These guys are like, fuck this dude. <laughs> he looks like a Simpson. <laughs> <laughs> he does. 
His mouth Sheesh. is so swollen from bees. He's got like a thousand bees in his mouth. Seriously. I hate this so much. That's how I eat pussy. <laughs> <laughs> It's a clean show, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah for sure. Family. For sure. No, his friend must be all like guarded up, right? Who's filming? That's like, what I'm that's saying. That's always the question. And Who what's on fuck? his cheek? Are those dead smeared bees? What the fuck is on his cheek? Blood. Oh. Oh my God. This guy, he's into this shit so much. He has to be. He leaves here. He's like, I got some fresh honey today. He like, is stung yeah, the fuck up. Yeah, he's yeah. actually yeah. a white man. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I'm heating up, man. You are, yeah. yeah. It's like, the lips that really get me. Like off. this guy, I, we were Fuck watching earlier. Dude. It's like he was white, and then My like queens. the sodium has just shut his eyes down. <laughs> Look at his fucking eyes, bro. Well, which chin is Remember, the main one? It's no bra day. <laughs> <That fucking idiot. laughs> Remember, it's right. a national yeah. holiday, you guys. Honor it. Oh my god! Yeah, he's gross. So this guy's a truck driver, and he started this thing, the Kings and Queens Above Eighteen, and he always tells women like, "Let your boobs hang, free the nipple." Yeah, he just encourages you to go brawless. That's good, right? It's cool. Yeah, yeah it's so rad. Yeah, I do it too. I do it for him. You're a fan of that? Oh yeah, I love it. No, I might. I was saying my before my tits are too big. I can't go brawless. What do you mean before? But no, we, we here, played we this clip earlier, this. and she, he because this guy's always encouraging women to take their. He's like, "Let your bra, take your bra, let them hang." You know, he thinks he's. Oh, being you're like, saying when you talked about it before? Yeah, like, yeah. Oh, yeah. it sounded like maybe like there yeah. was a reduction or something. Yeah, that oh, happened. I wish. When you're like before when my boobs were ridiculous. He talks about reduction. She talks about reduction all the time. You have like a reduction I like, fantasy. I do. Yeah, I might do it. I don't know though. Do what? I can't change myself. She wants get, to get a titty reduction. reduction. I need one. Really? Yeah, I'm. I'm so jealous of your weight loss. Holy shit! Do it. You can do it. What are you doing? Uh, testosterone. Stick it in my ass three times a week. And Th then, is that that honey? That, that... Yeah, it's, like, it's just a little shot. So you eat then, whatever you want? No, no. Okay. You know, just figured out, like, the, the easiest way for me to do it now is just to go hit, try to hit a protein goal every day. Because you need that protein to, to lose weight and, and maintain or have muscle grow. Like powders? Yeah, well, I just go for grams. So I go for 200 grams. I try to get 200 grams We're talking a day. about food still. We're talking about food, yeah. 200 okay. grams of protein. But so I'm saying there's protein-focused things, right? Yes. So like I start off every day. I try to have a yogurt and some eggs every morning. Okay. Right? So okay. I, I start building that number. Right. And so I'm like, oh, I have good protein in me right now. Then I brought a shake. So this has 50 grams of protein in it. Right, so oh then I'm. Oh my god, the self control you're showing right now. Is well, amazing. you get so used really to it, but here's the thing: you get used to it, and then you're seeing results, and then you feel then you motivated by it. the results. Are you uh, like, um, do you have like alarms and stuff set for when you should eat? No, that I don't do. No, I don't have alarms for when to eat. Um, Does everybody else know when to feed you? I mean, we have a like a a system here. Like we we we'll, we always have lunch after this show, like immediately. Pretty much. Yeah. Do you yeah. know what it is or did it surprise? Yeah, we pre-order. Yeah. Usually it's chicken or salmon, but like today I ordered, I think, Mexican. chicken tacos. So, really? you know. Yeah, but I mean, like I try to get that food in me and then when we get home, I usually try to work out before the show, but today I'll work out when I get home. When do you wake up? If I'm going to be here at 10, I'll, I'll set the alarm to wake up at like 7, work out, you know, just like have eat before. But yeah, but then you just get... Are you, you doing a strenuous workout? Depends. Like so, not every day, but like some days you go for the like the spike heart rate. You know, like more yeah. like high like intensity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like what, what about when you're traveling? Um, I work out on the road every day. Just at the hotel. Yeah, those yep. gyms suck. Sometimes oh, they do suck. Yeah, sometimes they do suck. And we try to it's just like a jump rope. But you know what the the thing to do is like, and now that you're traveling, you have access to things. Is that a lot of times you can tell your Dr. Heath Huxtable, mm -hmm. you could tell him yeah. that when, don't drug me, don't drug me, <laughs> and you could tell him, hey, since we're going to let's just say Raleigh next week, yeah, um, I know we're staying at this hotel. Will you find out where a local, like a regular gym is? Mm. Call ahead and get passes for the days, and then you go to like a really good gym. I mean, I got that membership where I can go anywhere. Right. Oh, so well, then, then yeah. the twenty four, I can do that. Then, so. Yeah, you have just, you, you just haven't. I just didn't think, I don't think that far ahead. Yeah, and but. And that's why I'm fat but here's now. Because I was just realize I'm hungry and just grab the first thing. You can mm. literally make it a team effort. And that's when it it's really been, like, that's when it, when you go like, I want to do this. You're coming with me on the road. You're with me. And we're all, you're helping me do this. Yeah. Then it becomes kind of everyone's job, right? So right, then right. they're like, 
hey, we got here, Nate. I know the gym's right. You want to go now? And you get it out of the way. And yeah. then when you get back, they're like, we found this good food. You know what I mean? So it That's becomes we're like gonna the, we're gonna do that. the group effort. Starting now. All right, group effort. I promise it's exciting. you. Nice, I like we're gonna it. We're do it starting now. Because like, my thing is, I always put it second, right? Exactly. Like, I was like, I want to get situated in my house and settled. I want to get the car. I want to get all that. And then yeah. I'm like, and then I'll focus on my body. And health. And my dad's yeah. like, what are you talking about? You got to make yourself first. Dude, he's right. And I, um, I'm quitting smoking, which mm. is insane. Yeah. But the thought I had on it was like, I got this, I got the new car in the house and I don't want to smoke in the house because the house is new. Right. Take and, pride in the house. Yeah. And I got the new car and I was like, I don't want to smoke in the car. I'm smoking less because I'm, because I used to just get in the car and smoke and drive. Yeah. And so not, so then I, it dawned on me, I was like, I'm taking better care of my car and home than I am my own body. Bro, that's mm. such incredible insight. That's like, incredible yeah, so insight. I'm like, but I, I smoked before I came here, but that's I'm trying right. to, I'm, try, okay. I'm trying to quit. I've been encouraging that's people because okay. I got uh, 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 on it too with was the Zins, you know those Zin pouches. Oh yeah, yeah. Those are the shit. The little dips. Yeah, but there's no tobacco. There isn't. It's just straight nicotine. Okay. So you're getting the addictive chemical, but you're not getting the cancer causing chemicals. Right, but then when you run out of Zins, you chase the just, nicotine, just, and you're like, oh, let me but just get more Zin. And like that's just, everywhere. Everywhere. What does it do to your breath? Oof. Nothing, because it's not. Sure, no, there's sure. no. It, there's oh. not. It's not. It's not. Well, what was his breath like when he was on? I his mean, impacts? he's got dad breath. It's just always daddy. Just old coffee it smells like dad. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. shit. But the Zen doesn't. I mean, tobacco is the flavor. It's the breath. It's the smell, right? right. But it's also the cancer-causing chemicals. So you smoked. I have. I you know. What about patches? I never did that. Never did I tried gum. Tried it and it itched. I don't I like never did that. gum. Can't... I have friends that love the gum. Yeah, I did the gum. Because yeah. I, cause I the quit before work? for a year. How was that? It was cool, but I was like, I want to smoke. Yeah. I just rationalized. It wasn't was even calling me. I was just like, you know what would be nice? It's not, it is. If I still smoked. Yeah. Because <laughs> the hang is better if it everyone's is. talking yeah, so shit and smoking. Pre-show pre smoke, post-show smoke. My goodness. Yeah, I know I know that feeling. Morning cut it out. smokes, drinking smokes, after meal smokes. Yes, you guys are freaking the biggest one. It's after. It's after. Yeah. Wow. After you nut. Yeah. Can I tell you That's though what one. worked for me? Because I smoked for 17 years. What'd you do? I went to a hypnotherapist in Los I heard Angeles. About this. Heath tells me about this. There's a woman, uh, Rita. What's her last name? Sorry, Rita. I can't remember your last name. She hypnotized she, her own name out of you. She fucking sent me. I haven't smoked since I was 30 years old. The one time I did was on your mom's house when I was goth, and yeah. I hated it. You just did it as a thing. As, yeah, a, as a bit, bit and as I bit. couldn't even do it because she makes you hate it so much. But what do you, do you cognitively remember what she was telling you? Of course, you? it doesn't doesn't give you amnesia. What it is, it gets into your unconscious, or rather your subconscious mind, and it programs you. So, for instance, she'll she'll talk to you first and say, "Well, when do you like to smoke?" And for me, it was before shows. I used to sit in the alleyway and, and nervously right. smoke. She goes, "Okay, so instead of smoking, Christina, from now you will drink water. You will drink water instead of smoking." So now you got to pee on stage. Well, <laughs> yeah, that. But I drink water, but and I still do that habit. Really, it's been since I was when I'm forty-seven. Now, how many years? Seventeen, it was 17 years. years. Yeah. You're forty-seven. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you look, yeah, it's fantastic. Thanks, you buddy. do look fantastic. But uh, I don't know. It's, I'll give you her name if you're ever in LA. I'll, I'll look it up. How about oh, the book that amazing. every comedian was doing? To quit, you he told me that too. Alan Cars, you, the easy way. I don't know way. the name, but there's yeah, Pull it up. there's a the whole book. Like, if you for read me. it, people are like I can't even but finish it. I've already quit. It, so I know just, a lot of people work for it. For me personally, this book apparently it's the it. second book that's even crazier than this for like he alcohol. Has, it's, that's right. Yes, this guy, Alan Carr's easy way to stop smoking. Yeah, a lot of people don't finish the book, and they and they go. And he, I guess, I've never read it, but I've talked to people, and they and I, uh, apparently, like in the beginning of the book, he encourages you to smoke while reading the book. He's like, "Go ahead, get sick." And everybody who I've talked to that read this book is like, whatever pay, whatever chapter, they're like, "You just can't even do it anymore." I don't know how it. But yeah, I know I've how. Never heard I've more read the book. I will say it, it does okay. work in the beginning because what he does is he appeals to your logic and reason. It appeals to logic oh, and reason. Like, why are you doing this? What about the people? Whatever, just like it doesn't make sense for you. There's no benefit to it. So it ta it changes your thinking about smoking. So my my dad smoked, um, and he tells me all the time, he's like, the day I quit. So he, my sister is, I have two sisters. One's 16 years older than me and one's 12 years older than me. And he said he was holding uh, Debrina, which is 16 years older than me, and she was a little baby. And he had a cigarette, and the ash fell off <gasps> and landed like right on her face. And he was brushing the ash, and he was like, I 
fucking quit and yeah. he never smoked again that was it for him yeah just yeah. the act the residue falling on right. his baby like, was like the way I'm a feels. fucking monster yeah, 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 yeah he yeah. just and he just quit it didn't burn See, or anything because it was already done but yeah, yeah, it was yeah. enough just to be brushing it of off your baby yeah, you're like, like what the fuck habits? am i doing yeah. yeah yeah i think it's an emotional reason well so there's quit. another path is you can just get a baby and ash on it and see if it affects that's you that's a good idea way. yeah whose baby though yeah that's true Someone in there's got one. Mm -hmm. So we got to figure out yeah. first. Okay. Mm. Fine. <laughs> Is there a book for that? Yeah. <laughs> Whose baby can I ash on? <laughs> by Alan Carr. <laughs> yeah. um, have you, by the way, do you watch Tubi? No. Have you heard? I've I've seen the, I, I would imagine I'm looking at the outliers, uh -huh. but I've seen the extreme ridiculous clips. Yeah. Just on like Instagram. So I've only seen, I, I didn't know about this. It's, it's a, of course, it's funny to me that every time like you talk to like your reps about like a show or idea, they're like, we could probably get on Tubi. And then you're like, Oh really? <laughs> and, then, and then someone's like, yo, Tubi's breaking bread for specials right now. I, Take it serious. I think they're like, they're putting all kind because the world is so competitive now for right. content. You can just get it. It's just everywhere, right? Like Roku has stuff that like used to be on fucking Hulu has some wild stuff. Wild stuff, yeah. I just saw a post this this girl made about a movie called Slother House. Uh huh. Have you heard about this? Uh uh. There's a three toed sloth that's killing everybody in the movie. I can't make it up. It's not animated. This clip is real like I don't puppet. know if you've seen Oh, there it is. Oh, okay. Slother House. Cool. You got any clips? It's like it, that... it, it knows how to drive. It oh, knows that's how to cool. drive. And it's like smothering people out with pillows. Like go to, I think that's the go down a little bit more. Anyway. Oh yeah, it's smothering someone right there. Yeah, and it's like mm -hmm. Oh boy. Okay. That when things get turned down and then this gets made, it really <sighs> makes you your question your yeah, sanity. What is going on? The yeah. um, I'm done. I'm done. This okay, I've only seen this. This is the only two week clip I've seen, but it just had you well, we'll just watch the clip. Anthony, what about your job? What happens if they piss test you? I don't have a damn job. The cue the music. music. In, yeah. I lost it three months ago. You wanna know what I've been doing for the last two and a half months for money? Huh? I've been fucking. Oh. I've been fucking hella bitches. Hella <laughs> bitches. Apparently, good dick is hard to find. I'm saying this house you live in, the mortgage that's being paid, <laughs> the food on the table. Who pays for it? All financed by my dick. I know. Mean, <laughs> what is the show? I have to watch I this. Know. I love I know. this. <laughs> and also this has real acting class vibes. Like I I've taken it. acting class. Yeah. And they there you have to give this copy to every acting class because like it forcing you to take a ridiculous, like, you know what I mean? Premise, yeah. yeah. And like play it really sincerely. What's it called? No disrespect. Oh, I'm I'm into it. I'm, All right, I'm we're watching Tubi tonight. tonight. You've taken acting classes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was like well, you want to you want to run a scene? Oh sure. My God. About something ridiculous? Yeah, of course. Let's do it. All right, you gotta help us with the scene. Sure. What should I do? Um, he built a house on dick. So let's go. Uh, all right, you're 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 a gay pastor. Okay. And um, I'm a. Uh, I'm a crip that don't want to oh. um, gangbang no more. Okay. And and I'm you're trying to convert me, mm -hmm. and I'm trying to convert you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you want me to be the director? Yeah, you just got to let us know when to go. Okay, guys. And act. I know the letters and the colors. Seat buckle, is that your name? Click, click. Click, click. It is, it's almost like the spirit has called me to call you mm -hmm. in here and join open arms without arms. I know you're armed, but here we And have, dangerous, Cass. What was that? And dangerous, armed and dangerous, Cass. Here's the thing about church. Yeah. I don't mind it. Wonderful. It's the blood of Jesus for me though. Yes. Cause as a crip, I can't have no bloods, no bloods is Jesus or none of that shit around me. His wounds have healed, so there will be no free running blood anywhere. I would like to, if you're open to it, maybe begin with a hug. You want you want to hug me, cuz? I do. You gonna hug me into the church? I would love to. All right, we'll see. Walk over here. 
I have seen the videos and you and your friends, uh, when you have your dance parties, mm -hmm. are it's just amazing what you fellows can do. Yeah. I have a meniscus tear, and so I'm not able to, uh, is it sea walk? Huh. But what I can do is crawl. And I would I would see crawl to you if that's all right. Okay, and cut. Thank you guys. That was hold really up, hold beautiful. Up, Kyle. What the oh, fuck sorry. is a meniscus? Cause okay. what'd you call me? <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's gonna upset. Dude, yeah, <laughs> that's a two B show. That's the next season. Yeah, it is. That was bro I would watch that show all day. I guys. would watch the gay pastor in the crypt. I love yeah, it for sure. Yeah. <laughs> they got to they got to rob a bank or something together. Dude, that's the best premise for a show. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And then you're getting him to commit crimes, and he's getting you to repent. Yes, that's rod. It's ebony and ivory. It's got every mm -hmm. checks every box. Bill and Ted. Let's do mm -hmm. it. I think you pitch should. it. Yeah. Actually, everybody would turn that show down except for Tubi. Tubi, Tubi would be it. like Tubi's the future. I, I love it. It's it is like the TikTok of of TV. Yeah. The free enterprise. Let's do it. I love this. This is how I got into Tyler Perry movies very early. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I I'm loved... not knocking Tyler Perry. Nothing he does, he can't go wrong. No, he's yeah. amazing. And she's seen every single Medea. I love yeah. the Medea Fantastic. movies. I actually really like that character he's very good at. Yeah. And, but sometimes the acting's a little like this. I was in like... for Halloween four years ago. Actually, no I, was, I was Medea Goes to Jail. Yeah, I like that one. Yeah, people are like, you dressed up as a woman. I said, no, I'm dressed up as a man that's dressed up as a woman. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you do have some resemblance. For a little sure. bit, yeah, yeah, I get it. Yeah, yeah I you get do. it. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. somebody told me I look like him with a bad thyroid. <laughs> <laughs> is what it is. Can't take that back. He really is like has what he's built is unfucking believable. He's got it oh, figured it's out. Amazing. You seen his his home and like the, the what is it used to be a military base? In, is that right? Yeah, outside. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's yeah, insane. I love him. Yeah, I, I actually love feel him. like it's super impressive. But you're like, you live there alone, dude. Like this is fucking crazy. Thank you. I know what that look means. No. Well, I mean, how many people live? That's what I'm saying. Like, even when you go, like, I'm with someone that pull up Tyler Perry's house. Like, mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't want all that house. That's a lot of house, bro. There's, but I like Tyler Perry. It's not just the Medea movies. I like the other ones, the real serious ones. They're always about cheating. Yeah, look at that. And, dude. Jesus Come on. Christ. Even the robot vacuum's like, fuck. What? <laughs> that's too much to vacuum. That is. Wait, hold on. Scroll up. How much is that? All that's elevated too, so that everything under that is still. It's a forty thousand square it's foot house. Three hundred thirty acres. Mm -hmm. Yeah, forty thousand square shit. foot house. Eight bedrooms. Twelve bath. I mean, I don't know. That's that's a lot of maintenance, right? It's a lot of fucking maintenance, dude. That's a crazy house. That bro. is wild. Mm -hmm. What is he doing in that house? Writing movies. Yeah. yeah. Look at movies. it. That's Converting gorgeous. Crips. Converting <laughs> Crips. That's the next film, dude. That's immaculate. Yeah, that is. It's beautiful. It looks like but um, I don't think he built Versailles. it from scratch. It was someone else's house. Really? Yeah. Oh. Like it Rick is Ross crazy lives when in you Evander, hear Fields about some of these houses in the South mm -hmm. that are insane because of we built this city. The the like because of like how much land houses like that go for like way less than you. Yeah, because we built this city. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Even yeah. the pool's got a design in it. That's rich. Yeah. Dang. Yeah. It's so funny because like rich people love to make their houses look like the White House or Versailles. This is like two of the big like rich people things. And um, black people built all, both of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Did you know that? That the black people built it. Like the White House. I didn't know that. You didn't know black people built the White House? No. Really? Yeah. yeah. For and, and like, they got great rates, to be fair. <laughs> they were treated really well. And they got that health sucks. insurance, life insurance, there's oh pension my pay. God, and then they're gonna be like, Oh, what's the fucking pro well the problem is you got fucking taken care of really well to build this house. <laughs> Y'all told us it was going to be black when it was done. Yeah. This is the bullshit. It's the the bullshit. White House? <laughs> All the work we did? It's great. I cannot believe somebody would complain about that gig. It was a great gig. <laughs> oh Pyramids, gosh. too. And, Those no, things went up. And, and some, and some yeah. colleges and universities, some Ivy League schools. Really? Did you know that some of the Ivy League schools have done the research and they're giving reparations to the families of the people who built them? Really? Wow. Yes. Wow. In real life. No shit. Yeah. They're like, we're not waiting on the rest of America. We know who built our school and we're going to give money back. To the lineage. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think that's cool, actually. 
I think that's. I think if you follow, the, if you find it in the truth and you do your history, yeah. then you might as well cut the check. Look, Canada did that. They did? I think that works. Yeah, they did. What did they do? Reparations. Did they pay back? The Native Americans or the Native yeah. Canadians? Yes, I remember reading about this. They did it. Canada has always adapted to inclusivity way early. Like my friends from Canada are Beta. like, my friends are always like, <laughs> are always like, what do you guys have against diversity? Eh? Like they don't yeah. understand why America is so racist and shitty. And I'm like, yeah. I don't know. Like they work on it. Well, they're Canada. way more sensitive to that. Yeah. All of that. I remember like years ago being in Vancouver and saying like Indian on, you know, talking about it and, and the gasp, I was doing a club, the gas, like from the audience. And I was like, what? And they were like, like India, Indian or native American, like native American. Oh, and they were, yeah, and they were like, say, you're supposed yeah. to say native, like native or indigenous. And yeah. I was like, okay. I'm like, are we going to recover from this? Like yeah. they were so like frozen by it. Oh, they were knocked out of the set. From yeah. It? From like, yeah. from, from that just being like, I was like, oh, I just meant, you know, I wasn't th sorry. And it was, it was a big deal in the room. Mm. But yeah. I mean, I think that speaks more to well, like, you were in Vancouver. Yeah. Yuck, yucks. No, it was um, it was the uh, God. What was the club called? It was in, in the basement of a, um, a hotel, right there on Burrard Street. But I forget the name of it. It's, you I have think such it's, a good memory, though. Did you hear he goes Burrard Street? Like, do you remember any street that a club is on ever? No, I can't. Yeah, he just he's yeah, but got I can't like remember this, the name of the club. That's um, the one thing you can't remember. Oh yeah, yeah um, Nate Jackson, super funny comedy. Yeah, that was on eighty fourth and Hospital, <laughs> Tacoma, <laughs> Washington, <laughs> Tacoma. I remember that one. That one. <laughs> That's crazy, man. You're, I mean, you're also probably one of, I'm trying to think of, I mean, there's Rogan owns the mothership here. Mm -hmm. You own, I don't think there's that, any other comedian that owns it. Oh, um, Brad Garrett, Brad Garrett in Vegas. But then that's probably like a licensing thing. Yeah, that's I don't not know even really it. owning Well, there's some. Oh, there are some more? A couple. So there is Prescott that owns um, Chuckles. He's got two locations. Okay. And then uh, I believe Mike Epps just became a part owner of, uh, a new club in Detroit. Okay. Good. Mm -hmm. But I mean, there's it's like still, one it's a small group of you guys. Is oh, my point. It's, it's like tiny. five of you, man. It's tiny. I didn't, yeah. just, I wasn't going for that. Yeah. I, the example that I saw that it was like, oh, a comic can actually run a club was by Earthquake. Oh, he Earth owns a club? Earthquake. No, but Earthquake was like the co-founder and ran and owned Uptown Comedy Corner. Wow. Which is also Matt Rife's club. He was talking about growing up and mm. performing in his whole childhood. Yeah. Yeah. And so Earthquake partnered with Gary Abdo. And where where was that one? He, there was they had three at one point. But, oh. the, heart, but at the heart of Atlanta. Oh, and okay. There's one I want to say in like the closest part of Florida to Atlanta. The city that Matt hates. You mean? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it really rails against yeah, Atlanta. I mean, really, I mean yeah. you know, he was young and impressionable, and they yeah. made him do a lot of shows in that black ass club. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. That was one of them stages you got to conquer. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, which club was it? Uptown Comedy Corner. Yeah, I never did that one. Okay. But if you like, if you did it and you got through the jiggle the keys and all yeah, that yeah, stuff, yeah. like you come out the other side tempered by fire. Yeah, yes, mm -hmm. for sure. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, I, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nothing quite like starting Got out it. and doing black clubs. Like those rooms will definitely stay with you. Or the opposite. I mean, being being in Seattle. Yeah. Like yeah, I had yeah, clubs. I had, yeah. Yeah. Which is why I think it, like my audiences are. That's the part that everyone's like, wait, what? Because it's seventy percent white. Or like um, Ontario Improv this weekend had to be sixty five percent Mexican. Yeah, sure, that's the audience there. But that means they're coming out to see diverse audiences. It's like it's funny first, and then it's yeah. it's not like it's just a whole like a lot of the black acts in the country. The audience is black. Like who, who they they're coming to see who looks like them. Yeah, yeah. For some reason, I mean, I kind of know why. Like some of it's intentional on my part, but they're coming from TikTok and Facebook and Instagram and. and yeah. YouTube and they're like we just we just love them yeah and so I embrace them all and sure. do a set I do I still do me I don't pander yeah and I'll stop and translate to make sure everyone's on the same page sure. if they don't understand a cultural reference before I don't do me but that's so helpful but I, I it's think also a hilarious it's tag. Hilarious. it is it yeah. is funny you it's know? a mixed crowds though are the most fun so when you have a, a really a truly mixed room it's the most fun I think to perform to you know, I like having a, an actual diverse audience. And yeah, I also think that it's funny that like sometimes people go, why aren't there more 
of whatever. And you're Ugh, like, yeah, I don't, don't pick who that. comes in the door. Right. Like, Tickets went on sale. Yeah, I can't man, help who bought it. Whoever buys it. Is, I'll tell you what, here. black people want to come. Yeah. But they, just, they got to hurry up and get them tickets. <laughs> <laughs> black people be bullshit. White people got all them goddamn tickets. Zip tap, zip. zip, zip. <laughs> There's no black people at my shows until the fifth added one. Yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> all right. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. So. I, I wish I was playing. No, I know. I believe you. I believe you. Hey, Midnight you Saturday. Garrett like, Morris had a comedy club in downtown that's LA. Right. That's that right. That was yeah. fucking that's fire. Right. You liked it? I love doing his down. It was in the worst possible neighborhood of downtown Los Angeles. Have you done it? Did you do it? But he was a blast. And I remember being so blown away that he would just host the show and then sit in the back of the room and laugh and have fun with you. You're like, oh my God, this guy's like super famous. And he's like in the room with me. He's so fun. And he also was of the age group where you knew, you knew. He wasn't even gonna get within six syllables of how your name is pronounced. Nah, but it was <laughs> like fine. he brought me on as like Tim Saginaw or something. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> All right. Did you, know, you was, correct it when you got up there? I was like, they give it up for good. It's what it is. Yeah, I'll say like, my name after I rip because yeah. if it doesn't go well, Tim Saginaw bomb. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and also like people would tell like someone else would be like his name and he'd be like. Bah. You know, like, I don't give a shit. I don't give like, a shit. Sorry, man. You're like, God. yeah, that was in a rough spot though. Like you had to yes. walk through like a homeless shelter, I think. Yes, but yeah. a lot of fun. It was far for me. Like I did it like two or three times. Like I'm not driving all the way down here for this. Yeah, yeah. Coming yeah, from we the were, valley, I was like, this is insane. Oh yeah, no, we lived on Six and Rampart. So yeah, back that then. was yeah. literally oh, so that's actually close. Not yeah. that far. Yeah. Yeah. No, I was. I was always the union. I was always. I was at, the union uh, a lot. Yeah, man. that was yeah, good. Yeah, ends. Yeah, yeah. Ends. Ends. Mitchell. Yeah. 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 Is that still around? No, the whole block got developed. Oh, oh it did. Yeah, he was trying to make it to the show yesterday, but I guess he cracked his rim or needed his rim fixed or something. So, no oh, shit. I thought he said rib. I was oh, like, yeah. that's no. fucked. Rim, rim. No. Yeah, so I forgive you, Ents. Yeah. But anyway, um, shout out to Ents. I remember. Yeah, that was a fun one. That's one of, that's one of the first one. places I ever did shows that I like. I was also have. I was the promoter. You know what I mean? It was my yeah. name couldn't sell tickets. Did you promote? So I would hustle to. Yeah, I did. I did shows exclu- Like, you know. I did a show one time and people came out to see me, like people I invited. It was your show. It was my show. You were the ticket. Yeah. And, and so you packed out the union. Packed out the union a few times. and But it was from straight up hustling for yeah. it. It was not like, hey, I'm doing a show. Tickets are on sale. It was like calling people, texting people, putting up, you know. That's how I built everything. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I never, I could never, I, like I wasn't the guy sending avails and begging for gigs or yeah. blowing up Stroop and all that. I was like, I'll throw my own shit. That's the way, yeah. Mm-hmm. So Super Funny Comedy Club was Super Funny Comedy Show. I started at Ontario Improv. So it was full circle this week and be like, I'm back. And I'm it's back. been 12 Aww. years. And, wow. And um, to go from like hustling to fill it for one night with four known headliners that would come out from LA and do it on a favorite to like nine is crazy. Yeah, yeah. And then I moved it to Washington and we did Thursday nights for like eight years. Yeah. And it was like 400 seats. And then I opened the club. Amazing. Kept the same name. But I, I've, I've, I really, like I, I want people to, to do that. I yeah. want them to grind and hustle and That's pack right. shit out on their own instead of always asking for it from someone else. Yeah. Begging. Because if you build it, they can't take that shit away from you. If they give it to you, they can take that shit away from you and cancel your shit. Yeah, if it's yours, it's They're yours. One. And also if anybody like open micers, baby comedians, like I started a room in Los Feliz okay. when I was just a baby comedian. Right. I quit my fucking day job and I was like, fuck it, I'm just gonna start a room. And that's where I met this guy, Ryan Sickler, Matt Fulshron, uh, Mike Hollingsworth, like all these guys that we ended up Amazing. growing up together, Jay Larson. Yeah. And every week, and then I met my husband. There. Yeah, but so you end up like you meet you meet, you meet friends, you meet your, friends you, yeah. your homies. That's good. And then, and then everybody has other. like attainments in the mentality of we got to go get it. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. And it pushes all of the bacon and all the other stuff to the wayside. Yep. People ask me like, "What do you do? How do I?" And I'm like, "I don't even know what to tell you, man. I never was a. I never begged. I never. Yeah. I, I don't even want to call it beg. I never was just like, can I." Please help. No, I was like, I'll throw a show. I'll book four headliners. They all got their own rooms. Now I just booked four rooms. Yeah. Just in reciprocation. Right. You know what I mean? Yep. I had the comedy store, oh. main room for shit a, a long time. It would be packed. I hand wrote invites and mailed them to people like wedding invites. Wow. And they That's opened it up and it was a, like maybe five words like, man, I appreciate you in my life. This is coming up. And That's then it was cool. the flyer in an envelope. And I, really cool. I had it packed. That's a lesson That's for really people cool. who think they're hustling hard for their show. You know, they're like, I posted a thing on Instagram. And you're like, yeah, that's not. No, I was hand delivering and dropping. Yeah. But that people came that I didn't expect to come. But they were yeah. like, it was the dog. Nah, you mailed me a thing. Yeah. Like too short was there. 
Oh, we it's like him. what? Yeah. We've had him on he's the been podcast. On the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Great. yeah, he's awesome, man. He's the yeah. shit. Yeah, we did a song together. You did? <laughs> we did. We did. Because I, I was posting YouTube sketches, and every time I used music, it would like copyright strike, even if it said it was fair use yeah. or whatever. So I was like, I'll just make my own. And so I started messing around, and by like the third song, I was like, this is kind of catchy. Yeah. And then uh, I took it to my friend that owned the studio because I was just on GarageBand fucking yeah. around, and my my boy uh, Yoji Roby has like he does production all day and he was like let's clean it up and i came in and redid it and, he, and i was like this actually sounds kind of good and then uh he came to my next one i was like um short sure, um <laughs> i have a if you would just listen to it let me know what you think and he listened he's like i just you're bumping and then and that was it that's crazy man. and then kind of uh he, he was like come by my um come by the compound to play it and i went to his compound where the whole thing is built like a speaker yeah and, and he played the same song that I was like, this is kind of bumping. And it was like, this is the best song in the world because I was sitting in the yeah. studio. And then um, he was like, yeah, man, I might get on it. Just leave leave the, uh, what they call the stems. Leave me the stems. Yeah. I was like, oh, yeah, absolutely. And I left and I went back on the website where I had gotten the free beat and like bought it. Mm -hmm. Like I literally drove around the corner and parked like, let me hurry up before anybody beats me. And yeah. I bought it. And then I sent that to him. And then randomly, I never thought it was going to happen. Like two months later, I just had an email. It was like, Todd or whatever yeah. sends you it. And I was like, who the fuck is Todd? Todd. Yeah. And I opened it up and he's, I mean, he's, bitch, he's yeah. going in. Short dog, baby, yeah. Yeah, and yeah. I went on Instagram. I was like, oh my God, two shorts on my song coming no soon. shit. And then do you know who Zero is? Mm -mm. So Zero is like the most city Don. He's like a Houston, like, like he's he's sad. Like Zero's a monster. Like that's Zero. Yeah, one deep. That's, that's my guy, man. Zero was like, what am I, chopped liver? In the comments of that post. Yeah. I sent it to him at like 8 p.m. And by 6 a.m., I had a song with me singing the hook. No way. Zero rapping, hook, too short rapping. What Amazing. the fuck, man? So it, what's the name of the song? It's called the Cookie Monster Remix. Okay. Um, we got to look it up. I mean, we can't play it here probably, but we can. Well, I own it and it's fine with me. Oh, shit, bro. <laughs> shit. <laughs> You tell me. Well, I just wanted to make a song about eating pussy, and so they told me to clean it up, so I made it cookie. Yeah. It was for a YouTube sketch. Nine o'clock, I'm on my own, texting you because I'm home alone. Uh -huh. I want that cookie. Here we go. I want. Pussy, I want the pussy. Yeah. You get it. <laughs> How you want it? Hey. I like fast forward some so you can get to where two short goes crazy. That's zero. That's right. Let that right. Okay, go forward some more. We all want that cookie. <laughs> all of us. I can't have it no more on a diet. Talking about no cookie dough. I'm oh my god, I cried when I heard it. Looking for her everywhere. Where she go? Walked out the front door and left with show. Damn. What's on her mind? You never That's know. old school too short, man. Give you some advice you he need laced to let me. Her go. You need to slow it down and find a better hoe. She's a beginner. Uh-huh. And you on level four. But she ain't giving up that cat. No. Not to you. Like how many bars is this? Come on, man! For free, for free. That's crazy, man! Congrats! That's insane. That's kind of the coolest thing ever. Yeah, yeah. but I didn't know what I just put it out. Yeah, I'm like, here, guys. Here you go. I yeah. sent it to like Distro Kid, and they were like, "What the fuck?" And like yeah. they made, they put it out the next day, went everywhere, and I think got some spins. It that's is awesome, it is. man. That's, that's awesome. awesome. I made, I might dabble again. Yeah, you should. You if think that's, so? I mean, if that's your Do first it. time, think about it. that's yeah, fucking pretty yeah, crazy. Yeah, but yeah. I did not expect too short to be like fuck it but I, he he said like he was like little dude i got the number one song in the country you comic motherfuckers is hot so that's why he got on it that's a good point mm -hmm. yeah yeah so, and new duo did it again he's he's had a few he's got a few yeah. number ones yeah yeah so Ooh, I don't know. wow <laughs> um all right thank you for coming thank you just so, so people much. know uh it's mr nate jackson on yeah. tiktok it's natejacksoncomedy.com for tickets yes 
Uh, he's performing in Chicago on New Year's Eve, about to go on an international tour, Ooh. blowing up everywhere. Like I said, always so happy for comedians that hit it. It's exciting for, I'm excited for you, man. That's awesome. Yes, thank you so awesome, much. Dude. Absolutely. So let's stay in touch. And again, thank you for coming and uh, go get tickets. We're, Nate, we're, best, we're best friends now. Let's do it, man. Well, you guys are yeah. going to do the priest and the, and the, and the yeah, crypt. Yeah, we got a whole show to pitch, man. Yeah, the let's crypt do and the priest. But we're fr I'm not playing. Yeah. We're friends. You're yeah. going to get my personal number. All right, <gasps> let's do it. And wow. we're going to like be text buddies let's and stuff. We'll start, talking about, we'll start talking about protein every day. Yeah, we I mean, should do like a little group chat with the three of us. Yeah. Wow. That way when we're talking about something you don't care about, you're like, why do you keep talking to him? I know. Like, I need you to be bothered by us. Okay, yeah, I'd love to. Yeah. This works for me. That's thank nice. you for coming, brother. Thank Man, thank you. you so much for having me. Absolutely. This All is right. this is amazing. We'll see you guys next week. Bye. Fucking bad tooth. Fucking bad tooth. Fucking bad tooth. Look at that. Fucking bad tooth. Fucking bad tooth. Fucking bad tooth. Look at that. Fucking bad tooth. Fucking bad Fucking bad tooth. Look at that. 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 Bad tooth. Look at that. Look at that. Bad tooth. Look at that bad tooth. Look at that fucking bad tooth, folks. Look at that bad tooth. Look at that. Look at that bad tooth. Look at that bad tooth. Look at that fucking bad tooth. That's the way you do it. That, that, that's the way you do it. Look at that. Look at that fucking bad tooth. That, that's the way you do it. Stop. That's the way you do it. That, that, that's the way you do it. Look at that. Look at that fucking bad tooth. That, that's the way you do it. Stop. That's the way you do it. That, that, that's the way you do it. Look at that. Look at that fucking bad tooth. That, that's the way you do it. Stop. That's the way you do it. That, that, that's the way you do it. Look at that. Look at that fucking bad tooth. That's the way you do it. Stop looking that fucking. Look at that. Look at that bad tooth. Look at that bad tooth. Look at that fucking bad tooth, folks. Look at that bad tooth. Look at that. Look at that bad tooth. Look at that bad tooth. Look at that fucking bad tooth. Look at that fucking. Look at that. Look at that bad tooth. Look at that bad tooth. Look at that fucking bad tooth, folks. Look at that bad tooth. Look at that. Look at that bad tooth. Look at that bad tooth. Look at that fucking bad tooth. Look at that fucking. Look at that. Look at that bad tooth. Look at that bad tooth. Look at that fucking bad tooth, folks. Look at that bad tooth. Look at that. Look at that bad tooth. Look at that bad tooth. Look at that fucking bad tooth, folks. You just watched your mom's house. Did you like it? Then watch another one. Watch our clips. I don't know. Check it out. Try it out. If you didn't like it. Look for other stuff. Maybe in the next video there's people getting hurt the way you like, or maybe gay dudes talking about dick stuff. I don't know. Try it out. Maybe there's always something for everybody. Just look in these cubes. Squares. Whatever.